Okay, G man, go ahead. Yeah, you said that they have to ask him what. Yeah, just tell him. I mean, ask him questions about you know I Islam. I question if you want him to talk to me. Yeah, I mean, you believe the Prophet Muhammad is the best example for mankind, right? Yeah, just take it from there. I'm just a Muslim, and what is Muhammad say? Yes, if you can hear you, Sipi. Well, yeah, yeah, she is a Muslim. That's all. Obviously, she does not know much about Islam, maybe. But uh, shouldn't you know why you are a Muslim? Why you are a Muslim? Mm -hmm. What is the reason you are a Muslim? I believe in God, and I yeah, I can hear you. Can you can you bring the microphone to her? I hear nothing. Yes. Hello? Can yeah. you hear me? Okay, go ahead. Yes, I say that I'm a Muslim first of all, because I believe that they could be with more superior and is in charge of can you speak louder, please? Can you get it closer to the microphone? Yes. Um, second. Yeah. Give Give me to hear it. Yeah. And on the second part, I, I'm a Muslim because I believe that um, God only create only one religion and the religion of all of the prophet from Adam peace be upon him to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is Islam. Hmm. So why why the Quran call us the Christians and we he say the Quran and the Quran says the Christian and the Jews will go to heaven if the religion only Islam. Isn't the Quran um, says that those who they are Jews and those who they are Christians and those who they are Sabi and they will go to heaven. So how the religion only is Islam um, but we are called the Christians in the Quran and we will go to heaven. Yeah. But the, the Quran didn't say that. No, Quran, Surah, no, no, the Quran says that. Let us open the Quran. Oh, chapter oh, 2, verse oh, number 62. Chapter 2, verse number 62. Us, I will give you the let link. Us go on, yeah. Let us go on chapter 3. Yeah, chapter 2, verse number 62. And this is let, the verse. Let us go. Okay. Because I don't, I don't want to go just, you know, uh, then you can just guide me to uh, whatever chapter I have to go. No, no, you, I'm, I'm just having a dialogue with you. You said Islam is the only religion, but this is a contradiction in the Quran. Yes, the Quran says the religion for Allah is Islam, but then Allah, he says the Jews, what the Jews are, Jews who don't believe, they don't believe Islam, obviously. The Christian, they worship the Messiah. The Jews, they worship Hosea according to the Quran. And the Sabian, they worship stars. So how the religion is for Allah is only Islam, as the Quran says, but in different verses, Christian, Sabian, and Jews, they will go to heaven. Um, I tried to find that is is in Surah Al Iman uh -huh. when uh, Surah Al Iman when God say that the only religion acceptable is Islam. Mm -hmm. That's one. And after that, I tried to remember it's like between I sent you the last time. Which number is it? I, I understand. Which, I it which which number what? Yeah, uh, the number Surah Al Iman. Uh, Al, 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 Al Iman, chapter number three. Verse number yeah, nineteen. Number verse number nineteen. Yeah. yeah, but you know, if you read that chapter, it's, it's, it's not. It's, it's not the verse number nineteen. It's not the verse number nineteen. Chapter three, verse number nineteen. Yes, I'm sure. Is 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 not number nineteen. It is number I'm nineteen. Sure. I'm very sure too. Okay, let's go to verify. Yeah, chapter three, verse number nineteen. No, I'm not talking about this one. Okay, what you're talking, talking about? about the, uh, it's like... Maybe you mean 385. No, it's not 385 because I read it like last night. It's between... Um, it's between chapter, I say chapter number 60 to 80. Tell me what the verse is saying. That's what... What the verse uh, is saying? Is it, is, isn't it the verse says that Allah accepts only Islam as religion? Yes. Okay, this is 85. 85. Uh -huh. But as you see, this is a contradiction because a second ago, I showed you the Quran saying that the Jews, 
the Sabian, the Christians will go to heaven. So only Islam will go to heaven. Or Jews and, and Christian and, and Sabian will go to heaven. And which part of the Quran say that Jews and Christians will go to heaven? Uh, maybe you were not listening to me. I was. I, I just saw the verse. In the Ladina Hadu. Which go. part? This is a chapter two, verse number sixty-two. Those who they are Jews, and those who they are Christian, and those who they are Sabian, and whoever believe in Allah, and the last day, and do good deed, will go to heaven. They have no worry. So how would the religion only accepted by Allah is Islam, and then He accept Christianity? He accept Judaism and he accept the religion have nothing to do with both. This is a Sabi and the Sabi and they believe that the God of the Jews and the God of the Christians is the devil, literally. The Sabi and even in their book, in the book it's called Kenza Rabba, they say that, uh, uh, not in Kenza Rabba actually, in one other book. But, uh, but, 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 but when you read a Surah, you don't, you don't finish to read everything. You can read everything if you that, want. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Read it. It says, it says, the Christian and the Jews and the and the and the Sabian they will go to heaven. Because you need to like let me speak. Because when you read a, when you read a verse, you need to read the, the entire verse. Okay, because read it. Okay, go ahead. Quran, go ahead. Yeah. Go um, ahead. Give me the answer. How the Sabian will go to heaven? The Sabian they worship stars. Tell me how the Sabian yeah, they will go to heaven. They don't believe. They don't believe. They don't believe in any of the God of the Christian and the Jews. You know, is is a conversation. Yeah, I'm conversation saying. I'm saying to you. Okay, I'm asking you how the how the Sabian. That, no problem. Um, how the Sabian will go. To, that we have. But if you don't let me talk, I'm letting you talk. I'm giving you the mic. I'm, I'm, let, I'm giving you the mic. How the Sabian will go yeah, to heaven? Go yeah. ahead. Oh, you you told me that how the Sabian should go to heaven. How the Sabian uh, should should do something. And I told you that you just when you read the uh, reverse. You don't read the entire no problem. Yeah, yeah. Read, based you on you, based part, on your understanding, you, you, you did read the whole not, Quran, lady. It's not. It's not based on me. Okay, okay. Everybody no problem. Not based on you. Read you did read life. the whole Quran. You did read the whole Quran. That's wonderful. Now give me the answer after reading the whole Quran. How does Sabia will go but, to heaven? But if you can let me talk, because I'm letting you talk. Like, I want to see. I'm letting you talk. Go ahead. It's, you it's, see. It's not about like. Okay. How? Let, let me. Okay. I'm not going to talk no more. How the Sabian, you did read the whole Quran. I'm not going to talk no more. I will give you the mic. How the Sabian will go to heaven. Go ahead. Okay, then let me finish to finish. Uh, first of all, I want to finish this verse because the information you gave wasn't complete. The mm. verse is not finished. We need to read with the entire the entire verse. Go ahead. That's one. Go ahead. And there is so many place in uh, Surah Al-Baqarah too who mm. say that... Uh, if a Christian, that's why the, uh, God called them the people of the book, mm. because they have been given the book before them by Prophet Musa alim salam mm -hmm. and Prophet Jesus alim salam. Okay, that's why God called them the people of the book, mm -hmm. and He said that with what they have in the end, they should be able to recognize the Quran as the last message. That's the message of God, because He give them He give them. Uh, First of all, the first revelation, the first, the first book. Then uh, those priests and uh, whoever they should be, they should be in charge. But they send it to reveal parts to people. They didn't conserve it, and now they they talk to the people from the book. The people from the book at the time of uh, Moses, peace be upon him. The people who used to follow Moses. They, they don't have any problem. They, they whenever they used to lady, lady, I ask you. Why the Sabian? They will go to heaven. You start telling me about people of the book. What Sabian have to do with people of the book? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, if you can give me one minute, then I will just uh, read all. Um, I, I read the all. Um, I want to say that the old sword. Um, and I will see, and then people can realize. Read the whole the book. No problem. It. Give me the give me the answer. Why the Sabian will go to heaven? Give, read from the first page in the Quran to the last yeah. page. Okay. I'm ready to read. If mm -hmm. you give me enough time, I'm ready to read. But then you are not doing it. You are start talking about the Christians and the Jews. I told you the question was why the Sabian will go to heaven. You start talking yeah. about people in the book. Because you you because what you are doing is pretty much if I can say that it's just manipulation. Okay, you see, prove it. I ask you, who is the one doing manipulation? It's you. I ask you about. I, I did not ask you. I did not ask you about the Christian and the Jews. I said how the Sabian, how the Sabian. How the Sabian who worship stars? How does 
if does, we have to talk like that, does, nobody will be able to understand nothing. Okay, tell me. Okay, tell me who. Tell me who is a. Tell me who is a sabi and go ahead. You see, you are afraid of giving me a very simple answer. Why the sabi and will go to heaven? You, you give me. You give me a speech. You are giving me a speech. I'm just telling you. I have to finish first. First to, to no, read, you can uh, you can finish later. Just tell me now as a start. Yeah, why the Sabian? Yeah, yeah. Start with the Sabian. Start with the Sabian. Start with the Sabian. I'm not asking about the Christians. I'm not asking about the Christians. If you want to have this kind of conversation, we're gonna have this kind of conversation. If you want us to have this kind of conversation, we're gonna have this kind of. Why you are answering you about something? Why you wanna answer about something I did not ask you? Did I, did I ask you about the Christians? You I said the Sabian. You call me and you tell me about like why why are you a Muslim? And I told you I'm a Muslim because of social so reason, because of social so reason. And you give me a verse. And when you give me that verse, you didn't even read everything. You just read one part. And after that, you tell me uh, why uh, God said like we 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 enter in heaven. At least let me read. Read, who cares? Okay, 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 I'm giving you them. You start talking about the Christians, you start talking about Musa, you start talking about Jesus. The Sabian, they don't have Jesus. The Sabian don't have Musa. Listen, the Sabian, they don't have. The Sabian don't have. Listen, listen, you are like a radio station. I mean, there is a problem in those countries like Nigeria. They will not let you talk. They will not let you not, talk. Not about, Listen, lady, lady, about, lady. Okay, let me repeat Listen again. Me let me repeat me again. Me Can you give me the answer why the Sabian will go to heaven? Forget about the Christians. Listen. If you, if you want to, if you want to have a Lord have mercy. So why the Sabian will go to heaven? Forget about the Jews and the Christians. I don't want to know about the Christian and the Jews now. Tell me the Sabian. Why the Sabian will go to heaven? Go ahead. Let me finish with the with the with the travel. Start start with the Sabian. Like okay, go ahead. Okay. If you cannot come, you cannot come like that and just tell me like okay, like in your Quran that part and start to explain to me. Uh -huh. I'm not I'm not a scholar. This is one. I'm not a scholar. It's like we didn't really agree to say like okay, why well, now we're gonna talk and you have to make study about this part and I have to make study about this part. And after that, when we will be online, then after that you can give your argument, I will give my argument. Mm. You are a scholar or you are a, I believe that you are, you are a man of knowledge. Mm. You cannot come like that and just somebody you ask about that person, why do you believe in that? And that person try to respond to you. And you know, I'm not a scholar. If I was a scholar, I would be able like to give you all of the like the, the, so why you don't why you don't I, you are, I why you are making a speech if you, why you don't tell me i do not know and that's it i'm not, make, I'm not making a speech because english is my is my uh, english, english is not language. my first language too english is not my first language yeah, my I, first I, language I, is arabic I can, I can, so again do you know I, why I, I, okay why the christian will go to heaven listen okay why the christian why the christians in the time of muhammad they will go to heaven give me the answer why the christian in the time of muhammad in the time of muhammad when this verse was given this is in the time of Muhammad. So why the Christian in the time of Muhammad were given to go into heaven? Go ahead. If you want to have this kind of conversation, then like nobody will be able to learn nothing from. It's up from to you. Nobody. People are listening. People are listening. You are unable to answer either the Christian will go to heaven because the, the Christian in the time of Muhammad. Okay, they just go. Go just. Okay, just okay, just okay, just go, just go, just go. Just people need to know. I, I won't go like that. People need to know that they have to read the the, the old verse. Okay, you okay, no problem, no problem. You did read the whole Quran. You keep crying, saying, "I read the whole, read the whole verse." Who's holding you? I'm asking you why the Christian will go to heaven in the time of Muhammad. In the time of Muhammad, we have the Gospel of Luke, of Mark, of John. So how we will go to heaven of Islam if we believe that Jesus is God? This is the question. I'm like that we didn't agree about like okay why now we're gonna study this specific <laughs> verse we didn't right. agree about just it let her go, you let go. Just, let, like... just let her go bye-bye bye-bye no, oh, bye-bye bye-bye just bye-bye just bye-bye just bye-bye just just bye-bye just just bye-bye just bye-bye just bye-bye listen to you they have to go to read that, that verse they, by okay go so, go and read yeah, okay read go and read the verse go and read the verse no, Go okay, go and read, read the verse okay that's it bye-bye 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 thank god i'm single Unbelievable. She almost gave you high blood pressure, bro. We have another Muslim, by the way. Do you see why I'm still single, Antenna? <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, I don't know what to do. Okay, give me why we'll go to heaven. The Christian in the time of Muhammad, even the Quran say that the Christian believe that Jesus is God. The Jews believe that Uzair is a, a Jesus son of Allah. Uzair is a son of Allah. Okay, how does Christian will go to heaven in the time of Muhammad? He did not say, you see, he said the same word. He used the word Nasara. He used the word Hadu, which means the Yahud. So how the Jews will go to heaven he said the Jews, he did not say some of the Jews. He didn't say some of the Christians. Who the, Those who believe, those are the Muslims. And those who they are Jews, those are the Jews. And those who they are Christians, okay. And the Sabi and the Sabi and they believe in worshiping stars. The Sabi and even believe that there is angels, they are the creators. They are creatures made of light and they are the creators. So, the second you ask them a question, they start crying drama. I did not say I'm a scholar. Okay, I did not say you are a scholar. I'm talking to you. Is that how you, uh, you know, you wanted to answer the question? You don't let me read. Okay, go on. You know, do you need to read the whole Quran to tell me the answer? Give me why. Well, we will go to heaven. Allah, he sent the Isa to the Christians. Who said so? The Quran, stupid Quran. This is your book. But Isa never exists in our Bible. We don't have a person whose name is Isa. And how Musa is a Muslim, the Hadith says that Musa and Muhammad, sorry, and Adam, which is very funny. I mean, how Musa and how Musa he met Adam? I want to know. In Starbucks. Look at this. This is the mad Muhammad. Adam and Musa, they have a fight. Let us see. Where is the hadith? If you Mu can't find it, I can get it for you. No problem. Musa Musa says to Adam, there's for there is a reason. There must be something maybe in my browser. I'm not, I'm not sure. Because I nothing is working for me in this website. Never happened before. So the hadith says that Musa and Adam. They have an argument. I don't know what's happening. I cannot find anything. Yeah, you see, every, everybody can find it except me. I don't know what's happening. All right. <laughs> it's in chat. I already posted. All right. I just thank you for. Yeah, here it says, Adam and Musa argue with each other. Musa said to Adam, you are Adam uh, uh, whose mistake expelled you from paradise. Adam said to him, you are Musa who Allah, actually the hadith is short, it is the longer hadith. So anyway, Musa, he believed in the original sin, this and this. So how Musa, how Musa is a Muslim? If he believe in the original sin, as you see, this is supposed to be Moses after he died. He met with Adam, who is dead already. And now they are having coffee in the coffee shop in the death platform. And Moses, who is a Muslim prophet, according to Muhammad, he believed that because of Adam's sin, we are out of heaven. This is what original sin is about. So how is a Muslim? Muslim Islam refused original sin from the beginning to the end. They laugh at it. And the translation, by the way, here is false. There is no mistake. What mistake? False translation. It says in Arabic, خطيئتك, your sin. You see those hypocrites, when they translate, because they are hypocrites, they want to fix it because the Muslim, they say, prophet, don't commit sin. But then, it says in the front of us, because of your sin, we are out of heaven. And then Adam, he said to Moses, are you, and this is in different uh, uh, version of this hadith, are you blaming me for a destiny which Allah created for me to do 40,000 years before he created me? Another hadith, 40 years. 
So how Musa is a Muslim? We go to Isa. How Isa is a Muslim and he did not get married? Is it Islam against being single? Isn't it the Quran says that those who they are monks, this is a fabrication of their own? This is an this is an invention, in it, like their own fabrication. And then the same stupid Quran says that Mary she was a nun, she devoted herself to Allah. But the Quran says this is false. There is no way you can do that. It's haram. So this is why we say Muhammad is a biggest stupid hijacker. And those people, the only way for them to live, to believe in Islam is not to listen. Allah is in control of anything. How Allah in control of anything? Muhammad died by poison. Yet Allah, he promised Muhammad, nobody can harm you. Um, CP, um, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we have a Muslim who he kept saying that you're scared of him. He's been trying to get in for like 10 minutes. I didn't want to interrupt you. All right, sure. let him come, Mr. Scare. Yeah, he gashed his clay. Yeah, he keep talking about you're scared. And, All right. right. So he must be from Nigeria, <laughs> because Nigerian they will give them the mic. They will never let you talk. Go ahead, Mister uh, Clay. Go ahead, Clay. It, it's pushed to talk, Clay. Go ahead. Are you there? He doesn't know how push to talk works, so he's still trying to figure it out. Well, uh, no, okay. Well, when he find out, you know. Okay, you are, so as you see, you know, this the, those Muslim. They come to us. They have like a they, they have like a printing machine, you know, copy, copy, paste. Uh, Allah, Allah sent Moses. Allah, Allah sent Jesus. Allah, okay. If Allah sent Jesus, why Jesus did not say go and kill them wherever you find them? Why Jesus did not marry thirteen wives? Why Jesus says forgive them? Why Jesus said love your enemy? Is that the, is that what Islam teach? How Jesus can be a Muslim? In order for Jesus to be a Muslim, he have to be pervert. He have to be a person who go after children. He have to be a pervert like Muhammad. He go to his own son house and then he flirt with the wife when the husband is not there and later he take her to his house. So how Jesus is a Muslim? They are insulting our Jesus. You will go to hell for saying that. And look at this. Allah have a religion. And what is the religion? Islam. If you go to chapter 6, verse number 125, you will see how stupid Islam is. Read with me, Allah. And whomsoever Allah will guide, he open his breast to Islam. And whoever Allah misguide, he make his breast to close. Okay. Let us analyze the, the intelligence of Muhammad. So who is the one who guide and who is the one who misguide Allah? And how we can be guided? By surgery, plastic surgery for our boobs. How this is can be God? Who is the one who misguide Allah? Okay. Nice to meet you, Allah. Okay, who is the one who guide Allah too? Oops. So what shaitan do for living? What Satan he does for a living? He eat hummus? He go to Hawaii? If Allah is the one who misguide and Allah is the one who guide. So who is Satan? Is it me who is saying so? This is your book. The reason for Allah is only Islam. First of all, Christian brethren lying to you. The first number one did five. It's saying that whomever Allah will guide, he will guide you. That's very simple. Because Allah, if he wants to guide me, he guide me. Simply, if Allah wants to misguide me, he misguide me. 
Exactly, but how he is the same person? I thought the shaitan is the one who misguided. So Allah is doing both. Why is doing the, you know, good print. You never watch a movie? Uh, what? You never watch a movie? In the American movie? And there is a bad cop and the good cop. There's a bad what? Bad cop and good, good cop. So Allah is a bad, playing bad cop, good cop now? Exactly. So Allah is the bad cop. Sometimes the good cop. So Allah is there, he will guide you. Sometimes Allah will guide you. Like Abdul, you, you drive me crazy. So is Allah shaitan or Allah is God? Which one he is? Quit and pray. When Allah you want to be shaitan, it's shaitan. And he is very evil shaitan. When Allah want to be God, he guide you. So what the heck? So what shaitan do for living? Quit and pray. But of all, shaitan is employee for Allah. Allah is the both. Ah, now we got it. Thank you for solving the confusion. Do we have any Muhammadan? You ask them a question, they cannot answer, they go all over the place. That guy is coming back. He's, he's trying to fix his settings, but he's all right. coming right back. All right, no problem. As you see, the Quran is full of, and look at the fast translation, you know, Allah sent astray, what does that mean? In Arabic it says, yudil, yudil. Me deceive. What's, what that means, send astray? Why Allah, he want to send anyone astray anyway? When they ask Jesus why you are speaking to those, he says, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. Do you see why Jesus cannot be a Muslim? Jesus came for the sick, not for the healthy. Allah, he guide, the one is not even misguided. He is the one who misguide him. He's back. He, he wants to come out. All right. I don't see him asking for invitation. Do you see him? Uh, well, I can't. I can't put him up. So, but I don't see him asking for for to talk. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, then he's probably not in. You have to. Uh, All right. I just see him in the chat say, I, I, "Let me not get stressed out." <laughs> All right. Okay, I see him now. Uh, uh, I don't know why. Okay, he is here. All right. Go ahead, uh, Mr. Clay. Hi, how's it going, guys? Well, fine, go ahead. Are you a Muslim, sir? Alhamdulillah. What does that mean, Alhamdulillah? All praise due to Allah. Who is the one, first one who said that word? Alhamdulillah, Adam. No, it's always Allah. What the heck? Yeah, isn't it the Quran says, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen? Yes. Okay, that is Allah, right? This is verse number one in the Quran. So if you go to verse number one and verse number two, it says, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Maliki yawm ad-Din, Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in. Who is talking Allah? So how Allah is praising Allah, explain to us, go ahead. He's teaching you how to pray. No, he's not. You see, in Quran, when Allah is saying, pray like this, he say, Qul, which means say. Do you see the word say? Nowhere. Are you there? What's your point? I did not hear you. What? I said, what's your point? What's your point? M my point that uh, the Quran cannot be from, I mean, if the Quran is the one, is the one is talking is Allah, there's no way Allah will say in the name of Allah. I'm talking to you now, I'm Christian Prince. Is it right to say in the name of Christian Prince? You will laugh at me. Yeah, that's different. It's Why is different? different? If Allah is the one is talking, why he say in the name of Allah? He can say in the name of Allah if he is a person who is he is other than Allah. So he is speaking in the authority of Allah, and this is why he is saying in the name of Allah. But if I am Allah, then I will not say in the name of Allah. Did Jesus say in the name of Jesus? What's the, what's the issue with that? 
Well, because this is this is making the Quran not, not right. The, the whole thing is wrong. Okay, forget about this. Go ahead. Because you just said Alhamdulillah. So I wanted to know, and obviously it doesn't make doesn't make sense. So tell me why you are a Muslim, my friend. Uh, Islam is the only religion with complete guidance for every aspect of life. All right. Well, I just asked them, I asked a question before you call me. I don't know if you heard me. That Allah, he say in the Quran, the one who Allah misguide, nobody can guide him. Sure. Why Allah is misguiding people if Islam is religion of guidance? You just said guidance, you said yourself. Yeah. Okay, how is religion of guidance if Allah is the one who is misguiding people? No, I said it has complete guidance for every aspect of life. That, that was my answer. But you are a person who believe in destiny. Yeah, so when I say guidance, I mean every aspect of life. Uh -huh. you know, that means the way you live, it tells you how to do it. Uh, what, 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 what that would make any difference? Because simply as if it is destiny, your prophet, he says that Allah, he made a destiny about how much fornication he would do. So what is the point of the guidance of life if you will have to do uh, fornication? Allah, he made a destiny for you if you want to be a thief. So what guidance will do to me if it's destiny to be a thief? So, so that doesn't address my point. So that's a whole different conversation. I said No, no, it's not a different conversation. It's a whole guidance, right? Whole guidance. Okay, but guidance will not work because at the end of the day, what will take over is destination. It's not a guidance book I follow because I don't have the free will to follow. So I'm not talking about the afterlife. I'm talking about in this world, aspects of life in this world, Islam has answers for everything. To, like He has an answer for everything, basically. Okay, you that's just why. said, I will go with you. You said no. the Quran have an answer for everything. Islam. Okay, Islam is an answer for everything. Wonderful. So how does sun set in a muddy boiling water? It doesn't, it doesn't say that. It does say that. You say you speak Arabic, right? Yeah. Okay, read it for me. So Dul Qulnain, he it will appear to him. It doesn't say that. He say, it says you said you speak Arabic. Arabic. If you can show me the word appear to him, I will shave my beard, which is so long. Go ahead, show me the word appear. Yeah, so it doesn't say it's his perspective. Is it? Where it says his perspective. That's if you read the context, it's obvious. Where is the context? Show it to me. It's not. It's not there. It says they are asking Muhammad about Zulqarnain. The Jews they came to Muhammad. They made him think that Zulqarnain is a prophet. He took the bait, and now he came back to them. He says, "Okay, Allah told me this. They are asking you, and this is the verse, chapter eighteen, verse number eighty-three." They ask you about Zulqarnain, say, I shall recite to you something about his story. So it's not his perspective, Allah is talking. And then he says, until he keep going away, in verse number 86, until he reach the sitting place of the sun. Is that his perspective? No, Allah is talking, it's not the guy talking. Until when he reached the sitting place of the sun, he found it sitting in a spring of a bloody mud hot water, boiling water. Where is the word perspective and where is the word appear to him? I will tell you, you Muslims, you have to add it to fix a big mistake in the Quran. Oh, never mind. So, uh, so if you read the story here and pull up the verse. Read it. So you see, sadly, what the Muslims they do, they add words, it's not there, to fix their book. And they say to us, the book, Quran is a book of guidance. But the book of guidance, we need to insert 10,000 bracket in the verse to make it sound better or sound right. So we add the word, it appeared to him from his perspective. This is what he thought. But all those words are not exist, nowhere to be found.
Yeah, so <clears throat> Wajanaha, it says it right there. Wajanaha, he found it. Thank you very much. Wajanaha in yeah. Arabic means he found. It's not he thought. No, if it's how he, this, that's his perspective. Yeah, but Allah is the one. No, he did not. Find, he, said, he said he found. He didn't say he thought. He said he found her sitting. He reached the sitting place of the sun. Where is the sitting place of the sun? There is no sitting place of the sun. So here he's talking about a place, physical place. He keep going, keep going. Verse before he says, so he follow away. Until, who is talking Allah, not the guy. Until he reached the sitting place of the sun. He found it sitting in a spring of a black, muddy, hot water. And you hear, by the way, how in the world that will work with the word perspective? Have you ever heard of somebody so, and he thought that the sun going inside a spring of water? The yeah, spring of water is little tiny thing, spring of water. How the spring of water or the sun is going there? So this is how it appeared to him. Uh, in the Quran, in Surah, the Quran tells you how the sun moves. In Surah Yasin, uh -huh. it says, uh, I shouldn't find the verse. It says it goes um, on its course. It's a set course. Okay, wonderful. Who, who knows Who knows the interpretation for the Quran? You or, the, or Muhammad? Yeah, but time, before we get into like this, the, you're going away from the point that I made. No, no. Who, who knows the? Who knows? Who knows the, the? You gave me a verse from the Quran about the sun move. Yeah. Okay. Who is, is the one who knows how the sun? Tried, what the verse meaning? Oh, what the verse meaning? You or 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 your prophet? The prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay, your prophet in the Hadith he says the sun, you know, sit in a hot water. And this is hadith, yeah, so. and this is this is this is a, a sahih chain. So, yeah. if you're a prophet, he says that. Did your prophet he say that from his perspective too? So this is, you're going away from the point that I was making. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. Your prophet said the sun sit in a muddy, bloody water. Yeah, but so, you're not. You're not refuting the point that I made. I said that I'm Muslim because Islam has complete guidance for every aspect of life. So you, you are you are still a Muslim because of this mistake. No, it's not like this has nothing to do with if, if Islam has guidance or aspect of life. No, this is have to do because Allah they are asking Muhammad about Zul Qurnain. The answer is coming from Allah. So now how, how Allah is God, and yet he's he think such a thinking that he found the sitting place of the sun. And so and, and then he found the sun sitting in murky water. Yeah, so we can talk about this subject, but it goes away from the point I was making. Why why is going away? This is the this is the core of it. If this Allah if this is Allah is talking, then Allah He can't be wrong. But yeah, all of us we knew, all of us we yeah. knew that this is wrong. Whether whatever scientific thing in the Quran has nothing to do whether Islam has guidance for every aspect of life. This is not scientific. So, this is very silly. The sun doesn't set in murky water. Scientific. This is not scientific. This is silly. There's no body in the world who believe in such a thing. And not only that, if you go right there here, and then this guy, he go, he keep going until he found where the, the, the rising place of the sun. So the Quran teach that there is a rising place for the sun and there is a sitting place of the sun. So this guy, he spent his life between going from the east to the west. He went all the way where the sun set. He found the city in, in, in muddy water. And then he changed direction. He went to the east until he reached the sitting place of the sun. And then what he found that is the sun rising and the people who didn't have a cover. And then he kept going, and then he found a group of people. They told him about Gog and Magog. And then he built between them, between those people and Gog and Magog, a dam made of copper and, uh, 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 you know, uh, a copper and what? Uh, is iron, copper or iron. But what is this dam? And those, those Gog and Magog are by trillion at number. Your prophet, he said, each one of us, is equal there is there from 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 their side there's 1000 and each one of them before he die he make 1000 baby so imagine from the time of muhammad until now or the time of zulqarnain how many trillion they are not billions where we can find them and where is the dam so the dam has already been destroyed it, uh, they've already been if they are released. destroyed then they have and then the end of the time because this is the sign of the the, the judgment day yeah, so they are, they've already been released. Kogmala. So, so, so the judgment day did not happen then, because because according to your prophet and according to the Quran, it says that those Gog and Magog, they are when they when they leave the hole, they open the hole in the wall, they will invade Mecca. 
Immediately. No, it doesn't say that. Okay, here we go. Are you sure that you are a person you know your, your religion? Huh? Huh? Repeat what you just said, I hear what you said. Are you sure that you know your religion? Because I don't know, it sounds like you do not know what are you talking about. Here we go. This is your Quran. Chapter 21, verse number 96. It says, Until the hole is open, Gog and Magog, they will come from every way. And this is the day of judgment. The promise of Allah, the day of resurrection. Verse number, verse number 96 and 97. So if you say to me, and everybody heard you, that the dam already destroyed and those people are already free, then the Quran is false. What was the verse? Chapter 21, verse number 96, 97. Okay. Okay. It says... For which he destroyed a ride until Gog and Magog broke loose from the barriers, swimming down the hill. And, and, and when the true promise, then behold, the disbelievers will stand in horror. Oh, well, we, we have been healed in fact. So, what does it say? Is the day of judgment? It says in the front of me, this is the day, the true promise, the promise of Allah, the day of resurrection. If you, open, no, if you open different translation, you will see it right away. They depend in the translation. Yeah, so it's the, it's the promise of Allah, God uh -huh. and Magog. This is about the day, the day of judgment. Didn't say that. Yeah, here we go. The verse after it says, and those who believe in Allah and those who don't believe in Allah, those they will be the stones of, of, of hell. The verse after it. The description of hell right after. Why? Because when Gog and Magog come out, this is the day of resurrection. It doesn't correlate though. You're, you're saying that you can read, you can read the interpretation. Go yeah, okay, open, then... go open Ibn Kathir. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't say, it's saying that when Yajuj and Majuj are released, uh -huh. the sons will retreat to their cities and strongholds, bringing their flocks with them. Yajuj and Majuj will drink all the water of the land until mm -hmm. some of them pass a river. Exactly, which, which water? The water of Tabaraya. Is the water of Tabaraya is dry? You said to me they are almost. free. Almost. What do you almost? Yeah, go, it is. Go right now, I just watched a video about the Israeli army guarding the, 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 uh, the water of Tabaraya, a huge, massive lake. What do you yeah. mean? What do you mean? Almost, and they would they drink it, and they would drink it, and they would drink it in one day before they pass. When they pass, when the first one pa start passing, before the end one leave, the the it's not about drying weather and global warming. They pass. The first one start drinking. When the last one finish drinking, the lake of Tabaraya will be empty. What are you talking about? And this is still in the day of judgment, and they will invade Mecca. No, because when they invade, uh -huh. Isa is going to be there. Ah, okay. Isa here. Isa is coming. Well, Isa is going to be busy killing the pig. Isn't it your prophet? He says when Isa come, he will go and he fight the pig. Yes, this is after. Ah, uh, after. Question. Okay. So, uh, did you did you op did you open the the Gog and Magog uh, tafsir? You did you open it? it? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What of Syria are reading? Ibn Kathir? Yeah. All right. What it says? Uh, I was just reading it. Um, it says it was one I was reading where it says that uh, they will retreat and Gog and Magog will drink. Uh, I'm sorry, hold back up. Who is going to retreat? Or Muslim? They will retreat to their cities, right? Yep. Okay, but you said already the Gog and Magog, and so where are they? And not only that, your prophet he claimed that Gog and Magog are the Turkish. No, yeah, Gog and Magog are children of Adam. So no, no, of... no, they are Turkish. Yeah, they're sons of Adam. No, they are not. How they not sons of Adam? Who well, those are not a human, according to Muhammad. Those are not a human. Who says that? 
Okay, if you open, okay, if you go to Ibn Kathir, let me open Ibn Kathir for you. In Ibn Kathir, it says, Hatta idha futihat yajuju majuj. Read underneath that. It says, uh, as I remember, who was yeah, the father of the Turk. Here it says, this is, this is one of the explanation. It says here, the progeny of Adam, as you said, right? But then if we go to different place, we will find that those are not a human because they sleep inside their ear. Their ear is in the size of a tent. Uh, so it says right here that son of Adam, descendants of Noah, through the sun. This is, this is just an explanation, some of the explanation. Everybody give his own. But if you go in reality, okay, if we, are, if we search right now, the description of Gog and Magog, what you will see, if I type now Gog and Magog, let me show you what Muslim, they have uh, Photoshop. <laughs> yeah, Juju and Maju, here we go. Look what you will see. And you are telling me sons of Adam? Hmm. I just typed the word, and look what we will find in all over YouTube and over, over Google. They go to the Lord of the Ring and they copy pictures and you, you will find it in every Muslim video. This is Gog and Magog. Gog and Magog. Hmm? Do you see how the, this is a, this is an Islamic video? Gog and Magog. This is another Muslim video on YouTube. Gog and Magog. Look at this. Look, look at him. I mean, this guy is like a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, three hundred meters uh, tall. Those yeah, are Gog and Magog. This is your. This is your Muslims. Yeah, so how the son of Adam? Okay, wh where we can find those creatures where they are so massive in size? They are like seven, eight floor long, tall. They are scary. And you are saying to me already they are out. Yeah, even the scholars of Islam have already spoken about this. The barrier was in Georgia. It was broken a long time ago. He was. Like, it was in Georgia. Yeah. Ah, those Gog and Magog. They are Georgian. Close out. Gog, Magog, Georgia. Ah. Who? Who? Where did they get this from? Uh, this is, it's like it's a it's a known thing. It's not. It's not even like. Ah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. I am. I am Georgian and I have never heard this man. I'm just Georgian. I wanted to say it. I have never heard of this man. My friend, you are wrong. Muslims, they no. know about Georgia more than you. Excuse me. It's written already in the books of history. So you ah, can read the book it. of history. Which, which book? Which so history? In the book of history, it says that Gog and Magog, they live in Georgia. And there was a dam between two mountains. And those nations, okay. they are digging the, you know, by the way, the dam will not be destroyed. The dam will they will make only a hole in it, just a hole. I said the barrier had been destroyed. Yeah. And, it, and it within was... and, and within how many days they will they will they will conquer the earth? Few days. They're, yeah, they they are already conquering the earth right now. Well, they are now conquering the earth. Who are they? Where are they? Uh, the descendant. Their descendants are the leaders of the. The it's it's a whole difference. Ah, okay, okay. Now it's getting more more descendant of who? Yeah, the so the descendants of them are the families that are in charge. Or, where, where are the family? You no, know, I the, your prophet he says they will invade Mecca and they are creatures and they will drink the lake of Tabaraya. So the descendant they will go and drink the lake of Tabaraya. Yeah, and they never said they would invade Mecca. Didn't say that. What do you mean they will not? Yeah, he never says that. No, they do, and they will throw arrows, and then the the people of Mecca will use their arrows for three years, seven years. No. Sorry, seven years. No, that's that's in Sham. That's what? In Sham, that's in the Sham, not Mecca. Sham. Yeah. Okay. Let us see. Uh, okay. No. Let us see. Here we go. Let us see if this is sham or not. Hmm. This is Sahih Muslim. Hey Amen. Listen. Depend in the story for sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for having me up. Bye. You're hanging up? Why?
that coward always does that. Every time I get him busted, he leaves. He's a coward. Yeah, that's okay. It's okay. I mean, he's you know poor guy. All right. So they you know the those people they are going to use arrows made of wood. He said that the descendant now is in controlling the world. They will attack using wood, arrow made of wood in the day of judgment. This is what what uh, what 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 his prophet said. So in order to fix crazy stuff, Muhammad he said, they come with any story. Now they are descendant. Ah, oh, this is Trump. He must be descended from Gog and Magog. And Trump he is going to use arrows made of wood, and then the Muslim will use it for fire for seven years. Isn't this is something? It's like the Jews waiting for the Messiah to come to Jerusalem in the top of a donkey. Until now. But in Jerusalem, nobody's allowed to walk with a donkey no more. So if the Messiah, the, the one they are waiting for, if he come to Jerusalem now, they will, they, give, they will give him a fine. He will be arrested. This is how silly those people are. And this story here about Gog and Magog is in uh, in the Hadith, is in Al-Bukhari, is in the Tafsir Al-Baghawi, is in Al-Bidaya wa Nihaya. It's in everywhere. Hey, uh, Christian Prince, I have a question. All right, go ahead. Uh, do you believe that um, God can uh, do whatever he wants? God what? Do you believe God can do whatever he wants? God, he can do whatever he want. Which God? Yeah. Which God? Like, like God, the true God. The true God. Okay. Who, who is the true God? Yeah. What do you mean? Who is the true God? Who is who is he? What's his name? It's just God. He's just God. Yeah. Oh, okay. A true God for you, or true God for me? For everyone. For everyone, only my God, God, He can do everything. Your God can do everything. Yeah. Okay. So, what the question is about then? Hello. I don't know what happened. We can hear you, G-Man. He is a muted still. I think his mom walked in as well. Uh-oh. Last time my mom walked in, I was eating cookies. Man. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> All right, who is next? <laughs> Well, G-Man, his uh, mic is not working, so let us see who is next. Wait, no, he, I, I can hear him. I think you have him muted. I can hear him just fine. Oh, really? Okay, let me see. Yeah. Uh, I didn't mute him. Oh, yeah, yeah, because this woman, she was going crazy all over the place. Okay, go ahead, G-Man, sorry. I wasn't going crazy. Sorry, what? I don't hear you. Your voice is very low. I say I was going crazy. I just told you that I wanted to have a conversation so we can understand each other. I think you should take the second one. Okay, no problem. Let's yes. let's go back to zero. The Sabian will go okay. to heaven. The Sabian will go to heaven. Why? Go ahead. Yeah, let me read the, the old chapter now. Okay. Um, chapter verse. All right. Then number two six to two. Hmm. In Jin the believer. Uh, okay, I don't have to put what is in parenthesis. Mm -hmm. And those among the Jew, the Christian, and mm -hmm. the Sabian, we sincerely accept the faith in Allah and the last day, mm -hmm. and do good deed. Their reward is with the Lord, mm -hmm. and there shall be no fear upon them, nor shall they grieve. Okay.
Bent? Uh, do you want me to continue? No, tell me the answer. I'm waiting for your answer. Sabia, we'll go to heaven. Why? So you took your time. You did read. You studied it. You came back. Why the um, Sabia will I go to heaven? I did not take my time to. So why you came back? Then? Do you have the answer or not? You, why the Sabia will go to heaven? I I just called back because we couldn't have a uh, small conversation the first time. Okay, no problem. I but I back. have a question for you, the Sabia. Why did you go to heaven? You said to me. You said to me, lady, the religion of Allah is only Islam and Allah and only accept Islam. Wonderful. The Sabian are not Muslims. So why they will go to heaven? But based on what you say that uh, the Sabian are not Muslim. Do Muslim, you say that they worship stars. The Muslim, when, when the, those Yazidi, the Yazidi, the Yazidi, when ISIS, they occupy Iraq, they slave their girls. Why? Because those people, they worship Shaitan. According to Muslim Yazidi, they worship Shaitan. So how those who worship that's, Shaitan, they will go to heaven? That's the, the Sabian, maybe, the Sabian, maybe the Sabian in their book, the Sabian in their book, they teach that the one, the God of the Jews, he is the devil. Why? The, not their devil, the devil is God. The, they, they have different devil, the, the, the Jews. They worship other devil. Why? Because he told them to do circumcision. So they make fun of those who make circumcision. They say they are satanic. They are, they are, they are, they are, they are following the wrong Shaitan. So, how those are going yes. to go to heaven if your God he says I, you do circumcision? I understand because uh, I think maybe the verse is clear here. Oh, is the it? The verse is clear. Maybe yeah. For oh. me, okay. I think the verse is clear. All right. Because they, they clearly say uh, because the the Jew and the Christian is like for me the Jew and Christian is not because in Islam Islam is not made just for Arabic. Because Islam is, is not made what, only for Arabic? Yes. Islam where, is not, where, not where, Arabic. It, where it says that? Well, it says that because all of the prophets, not all of them were Arabic. And, but, and okay, meaning, hold on. Hold on. No, no. Islam. You said Islam is not made only for Arabic, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. So why the Quran says, Allah, he sent the Quran in Arabic so they might understand. The Quran means, Based on this, that Allah sent the Quran only to the Arab, correct? The Quran, the Quran wasn't sent only to the Arab. It's like pretty much the other, other religion. So why, the why, okay, religion. but the Quran says so. The Quran says, we send them the Which Quran one? in Arab. The Quran, there's tons of verses. Cha I, okay, chapter, I, I think, okay, chapter 12, I think, chapter 12. I think the best, the best we can do. Okay, like, don't, all right, uh, one by one, okay, one, one by one, one yeah. by one, okay, no, one no. by one. One by one. To not confuse, to not confuse people, it's better to finish with that first. All right. And when we're gonna finish with that, then we can move on to. We, we are to talking about the it. Okay. The Quran says in, yes. many, in many verses, Allah He sent the Quran in Arabic so they can understand. Ch as an example, we, we're gonna, chapter we're gonna chapter forty three, thing. verse number three. Right now we have to finish with the Sabian first. We're gonna you see, to, okay. Uh, I asked you then where, okay, what, what, who is the Sabian? Can you give me the, can you give me from your that, religion? That, that, can you give that, me, that, 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 can you give me from your religion who is the Sabian? Can you give me from the Quran, lady? Can you give me from the Quran who is the Sabian? Why they will go to heaven? Go ahead, we go back to zero. Yeah, we, we go back to zero because what I understand from this uh -huh. um, verse, and I think and everybody should go to read it by themselves to mm -hmm. be able to understand. Uh -huh. And it's very really clear. It's it indeed the believer and those among the Jews. They said those among the Jews. They didn't say like all Jews. What it says among the Jews. If you can show me among the Jews, I will shave my beard. Okay, uh, you can go on the, because the Quran I using is the number Quran. You uh -huh. can go on. Uh, Google. You are reading false Quran. I don't need Google. I'm an Arab. It says here in Arabic, in the Ladina Amanu, Waladina Hadu, Waladina Hadu. And those who they are Jews, not not among the Jews, not some of the Jews. Waladina Hadu, Wan Nasara, Wasabiin. So don't tell me, don't tell me go to Google. Show me what it says. Okay, let me speak my language with you, and I will see if you'll be able to understand. What is your language? My language is Ojenika. What I have to do with this? The Quran is in Arabic. Yeah. 
but the Quran is in Arabic. I'm not an Arab. Okay, see, you, you told me, you told me that Allah He sent Islam for all mankind. And now yeah. you cannot understand your Quran. Allah did not give you translation. It's, so it's not like I cannot understand the Quran. When the baby is born. So you are but, but, but now you are not, giving but you are you are not, getting wrong translation. Not, you are getting wrong not, translation. Not, I, I just baby, said to you where in the verse, where in the verse it says <laughs> among the Jew. Where in the verse, lady? Where in the verse? Okay, just go. Don't please. Just, just go. Just go. I, I, I have to mute you. You, you, you. No, you have to go. You have to go. You're, talking to you is a waste of time. Talking to you is just a waste of time. There's no point. It doesn't say that. This is a false translation. They are lying to you to fix it. Even the translation in front of me, which is made by the Muslims, made by Muhammadan. It says those who they believe and those who they are Jews, not some of the other Jews, not some, not, not a few. Here we go. This is Hilali, Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan. For me, I do not need a translation. Let me read for you from my language. Who care about your language? Allah don't even accept your prayer in your language. You have to pray to him in my language. Your God Allah, He don't speak languages. If you, He speak languages, then He should accept your prayer in any language. Your God is an Arab, made by the Arab, for the Arab. And now you are a slave of the Arab. And you cannot pray to your God in your language, you have to pray in my language. If your God speak all languages, then you can pray to Him in any language. A Christian person, he can speak to Jesus in English, in Nigerian, if he live in Congo, he speaks the language of the Congo. It doesn't matter if he's a Chinese, Ching, Hong, he, Hong, he speaks, Jesus understand. Even in your stupid book, it says that when the disciple of Jesus, Jesus told them to go and teach and preach, they said to him, how we are going to go and teach and preach? We don't speak the language of those countries. He said, don't worry, you go to sleep. They woke up in the morning, and they found every one of them, he speaks a different tongue. That is the miracle of Jesus. Your God, he speak only one tongue. And not only that, yeah. the problem, even his Arabic is broken. He is like a guy from Afghanistan. <laughs> the one who speak Arabic, the one who speak Arabic, he will know in two seconds that the Quran made by someone, his Arabic is like my English. You know, like imagine Christian Prince, he is going to teach Shakespeare how to speak English. This is how the Quran sound like. Mistake in a pronunciation, mistake in a grammar, mistake in, in, in writing, mistake in everything. And then they say to you, this is an amazing book, brother. Those, those people do not know Arabic. But for us, we are the Arab. We are the best people in the world who speak the language. There's a seven top point man in the history of the Arab. Top, top, top. All of them, they are Christians. All of them. You're a prophet, don't speak uh, good Arabic. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I just had a question. So, um, uh, if, uh, if God writes for you, right? If God writes for you to... Is God what? Uh, if God, uh, if God uh, predestines you or God writes... We don't believe in not... destiny. I don't believe in destiny. What do you mean? We're Christian. We don't believe in destiny. Wait, so so if God wants, if God writes for you to die tomorrow, can you choose? Like can this is this that? is not this is not destiny. What do you mean? No, this is not destiny. God, if you if you wanted to kill me, he can, right? But God did not decide when before I, I before, when he created me or before he created me when I'm going to die. No, God, when we went out of heaven, listen, when when we went out of heaven, when God he created Adam, he did not create him to die. He told him go and live in the garden forever. So God did not create us to die. But when Adam, he said to him, if you do the sin, then the death you die. And that would happen. So now we have a natural life and then we die when our body decay, our body degraded. It's not God killing me and God decide when I'm going to die. Unless God decide to punish me and say, hey, Christian Prince, die, I would die. But this is not destiny. Wait, but the Bible says that God chooses when you die. Yeah, give me where it says God, he says you, he, God, he decided to us to die before he created us. The Bible says so. Uh, hold on, I 
Frage jetzt schon da weiß. Okay. Ja, Frage. Mhm. God, he made a penalty, is death. That is, if you want that, is a destiny. That's for Adam and then for his children after him. So if you commit sin, you die. And then after Adam, everybody is the same as Adam. Okay, um, in Job, uh, Job chapter 14, verse 1 to 6, it says that his days are determined by God. Job 14? Yeah, Job chapter 14, uh, verse 1 to 6. All right. Here we go. He comes forth like a flower and cut down. He fleeth as a shadow and can, okay. And doth in the eyes, okay, all right. Seeing in his day determine the number of his month and thee has appointed his bond and cannot pass and turn to him. Okay, what it says that you, God, he tell you when you die. I don't see it. It says it says the numbers of his days are determined. Number of his Wait, days is yeah. determined. Yeah. You see, the, our days is that not forever. They are determined that we will die. So he said to Adam, "When you commit sin, if you do this, death, you die. You will not live forever. Those are determined. That's determined you will die. So you cannot live forever." Yeah, but it says until he fulfills his day like a hired man. So he will not die until he fulfills his day. So God already had a plan for his life and he cannot die until he fulfills it. So God, God, God can do that for a, God can do that for a certain man, you know, but it's still like as an example, uh, Moses, Moses was sent as a messenger, as a prophet. And if the mission is not done, then God will protect him. But there's time even for Moses to go. But this is not destiny. This is not destiny. I can go right now and kill somebody uh, in the street. I can go right now and kill somebody in the street. If God, he decide that I, he, his days will live, let us say, until the Friday, that means I did not kill him. That means God made, him, made, me, made me kill him so the destiny will happen. But this is not what the Bible is talking about. The Bible is saying that our days are not forever. They are limited. And we will not live forever. For we are people of sin. So everyone after Adam, including Adam, he have a limited Adam. He lived for a long time. But still, even if, even if it's a thousand years, still the days of Adam are limited. It's not destiny. God did not destiny for Adam, my friend. God did not destiny for so Adam how long he will live, how long when he will die. God destiny for him, if we can use the word destiny, that if you would commit sin, if you, it was a choice of Adam, not the choice of God. If you eat from this tree, then you die. And then what he did. So the, the promise is, if you do this, this will happen to you, the warning. And that is for us and for everybody. But but the Bible uses the word predestined, so you you don't. I don't, don't see the word uh, predestined. I don't see it. Uh, in another and even place, okay, in let us see example. different translation. No problem. But even if that what it says in the translation, it's about we cannot change the fact that we are going to die. This is something we cannot change no, because no, 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 it was a penalty. No, 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 no. Do you believe God predestines who goes to heaven? God, this this and what? Does God destine who goes to heaven? Who bless? Destin, Destin, like he predestines who goes to heaven. God, he knew whoever going to go to heaven. As an example, God, he said, I chosen you before you chose me. But does not mean that this is a destiny? This is not a destiny. Why? Because still you have a freedom to be there or not. And I will give you an example. God, he chosen us all to go to heaven. All of us. Not a few. But then we refuse. That's why Jesus said, not everyone says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So, but Jesus said in the same time, whoever believe in me and die will live. 
but now he's making differentiation it's a destiny for you to go to heaven if you choose to say so if you believe in me which means it's you it's, destiny is in your hand it's not God you, you don't take a verse from here and then you try to attach it to everywhere and you say this is destiny as long I'm not doing the will of God and this is what the Messiah said then we have to understand that if we do the will of God only then we go to heaven. So any word in the Bible is about destiny, have nothing to do with the destiny you understand. It is our destiny, which we decide by ourselves. If we choose by to be with God, then I will be with God. If I choose to be against God, then I will never be with God. So destiny here is not about God destiny for me to be in heaven and I have no choice to be there or not. It is always my choice. And this is the whole idea of Christianity. All of Christianity is about not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So if I have no, no, no choice to do his will or not, then what Jesus is talking about? Ah, uh, okay, I see, I see. And so, not only uh, that, not only that, I'll give you an example. Jesus has chosen disciple, correct? Is it true that Jesus has chosen disciples to yeah, follow him? Yeah. Okay. So, is Judah yeah. is one of them? Yeah, but Judas betrayed him. Okay, but he was a chosen one. Yeah. So who is the one who decide to betray? If if Jesus, he have a destiny for Judah, then Judah is a good guy. Correct? Yeah, but Judas chose to not. But that's not what happened. Judah, even he killed himself because he felt so guilty. So it was his sin, it was his fault, it was his, his action. It's not God's destiny. And destiny is very dangerous. Because if when a religion believes that everyone is destiny to do something, then I'm going to rape a woman I say this is destiny. I see somebody in the street, I rob him, I say this is destiny. If it's not destiny, God will not make it happen. This is what the Muslim believe. If you think this way, then you are no Christian. But I can say uh, um, there's a limited understanding of destiny in Christianity. Like I cannot change the fact I'm that I'm going to die. I can't change that because why? Because this was a penalty of sin. What is the wage? The Bible says, what is the wage of sin? Death. It's a wage. It's not a destiny. What does that mean? You got paid for what you did. It's a wage. It's not a destiny, my friend. Uh -huh. uh, I have a I have a question. All right. You said that there's a uh, Arabic mistakes in the Quran. Can you show me one? Is there's what? You said there's mistakes in the Quran, like Arabic. Can you show me one? Oh, there is tons of them. But do you know Arabic? Uh, I I can read. Yeah. All right. But are you an Arab? Uh, no. I'm it's, white. What do you mean you are white? I am white too. Yeah, I'm a I'm American. Oh, okay, but don't you know that the Arab are white people too? Oh, they are? Yeah, they are white more than you. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Yeah, all right. All right, anyway. So, uh, but if you do not know uh, uh, the grammar, etc., how you will notice what is mistake, you know, uh, what is what is the mistake? If you know just how to read, then, you know. Uh, no, I, I know. I think I, I think I can see if it's a mistake or not. Can you just show me? All right. Well, there is there is tons of mistakes actually. Here we go as an example. Uh, we go. Uh, which one I will show you? Ah, like the verse we are talking about actually, the verse I just asked her about uh, about the Jews. Uh, uh, the the one uh, you were listening to the lady when she called me. Yeah, yeah. But what was the verse again? Okay. This is a chapter five. Sorry, a, a chapter. Uh, yeah, we can, we can go to chapter five, actually. But in chapter two is the same. But anyway, in chapter five, verse. Uh, let us go to as -un. Hold on. Chapter five, verse number 69. It's the same. We were talking about as -un. That's why I mentioned it. Anyone who yeah. knows little grammar, he will know that this is a big mistake in Arabic. So here it says in chapter five, verse number 69. Anyone who know, who speak Arabic, he knew 
that uh, uh, there is something, do you know what ma'atuf mean? No. What does that okay, mean? so I'm going to explain to you. So simply, it should be sabi'een, not sabi'oon. In the other verse, no, it says sabi'een. No, it means the same thing. Huh? It means the same thing. No, no, this is, this yeah, is not about, if you say, who cares about being the same thing? If, but this is a mistake. This is a mistake. Who, who cares about if, if, I, you, say if you say If you say muslimun or muslimin, like what's the difference? No, no, my friend. In Arabic, you see, if I, if I am doing an exam now, I write it this way, I will, I will, I will, I will lose uh, some mark. So this is God talking. This, don't tell me this is the same. Uh -huh. So I can say uh, uh, like, like a, a glass and I type uh, one S. It's not the same, <laughs> you know? So I can say gas and I put two S. That will make it a different word. So in same in Arabic, there's there's rules. Then you have to follow the rules. And the Muslim they say is the Quran, the, the grammar is coming from the Quran. There's tons of mistakes. Yeah. But, yeah, but, like, I, but as but, I said, but, as I said, my friend, in order in order to understand, you have to know Arabic. And there's no point of speaking to you about them. This is why we focus on things can help people. How many people here they speak Arabic? Maybe nobody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but Muslimun and Muslimin just means more like a plurality of Muslims. Like My what? friend, it's not about the meaning. You see, there is a there is a grammar. There is a grammar. You cannot. It's not up to you. It's not up to you. So if I if if I you know if I change it, then I am making wrong Arabic. It's not up to me. This is a language have rules. Wow. It's not up to me to say it's the same. No, it's not the same. Then why the rules? Then let it the same. Let it, let people type as as they want. Actually, the whole Quran, you know, like uh, the word Hayat. The Quran says how uh, Hayawat, but I cannot find it in the Quran no more. <laughs> hayawat, yeah, Hayawat. What Hayawat? There's no Hayawat. I never heard of the word Hayawat in my life. But if I want to show you to you here, I cannot find it. Where is Hayawat? They took it off. I cannot find the wait, word wait. hayawat. Wait, in which, in which in which Quran is that? We do not find. I do not know. I don't have it. Al hayawat al dunya. <laughs> no way! No way! <laughs> wow, this is this is such an old chubha. This is such an old chubha. Or Why in you? Is a or, in, or in you? Here? There is no hayat in Arabic. You know, like uh, uh, I'm talking uh, about sabi'in. I'm talking about sabi'in. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yes, it's old Shubha. You guys are trying too hard to bring down Islam. Uh, look, look at this. I, I found, I found an image of the Quran. He said he speak Arabic. He said he knew how to read Arabic. Read this one for me. Okay. Shall we? Do you see? Do you see the word here? Let me, uh, let me turn my pen. Well, hold on. I have to respond to the Sabi'in one. Just hold on. I have I have to teach you Arabic. I have to teach you Arabic. Oh, okay. So uh -oh. Sabi'in here is is Sabi'in his marfu'a because if you go and read what Alusi said in Ruh al Maani, uh -huh. it's marfu'a al al ibtida, and the khabar is mahduf in this case. Al Alusi he That's said that. Marfu'a. Al Alusi he uh -oh. said, and Al Alusi is a Muslim, right? Yes, yes, he said it in Ruh okay. al Maani. Okay. Well, give you this is a, this is a Muslim trying to defend the Quran. But we know that this is no, false. No, no, no. This is listen, okay. listen, okay. listen. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, you the see, the language is based on istiqra. The oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen. I, I will go with you. If a Lucy, he says. So who is a Lucy? Okay, are you done muting me now? I'm not muting you. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat again. The grammar rules are based on istiqra. So we take what the Arabs say. And what the Quran say, and we do istiqra, and we determine that if we have this word in this placement, then it's going to be, for example, marfu. And if we have this word in this placement, then it's going to be mansub. Your argument but, is but the same is as saying that. Hold on, your Alusi he made this rule based on the Quran, not based on Arabic. So this is why I say the Muslim no, they say the, the Muslim, the Muslim, the Muslim, the Muslim, they start making the Quran, they start making the Quran their rules because the Quran is against all rules. So what they do, they say, oh, because here we put this word, but this is not, this is not, the, this is not the grammar of the Arabic. This is false. So they try to fix it. They make their own fiction story. And you are bringing me a one, someone, he's a Muslim. And the Muslim saying, this is not wrong. This is not a mistake. We can replace, if we replace this word here, we put it there. 
You bring me a witness. He is from the from the from the gang. No, no, no. This is, you know your argument is like what? This is like saying that okay, hold um, on. there should not be noon tawkid unless the qasam, listen, I, listen, the name listen, of God, listen, is mentioned listen, listen, listen. If there, it can if be there is somebody, if, 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 if there is somebody, if there is somebody, if there is somebody, he witnessed that this is true. He's not a Muslim. There's one person who is not a Muslim. He speak Arabic. He say this is true. What you are saying? Okay, so are you gonna let me speak now? I, I did not mute you. I didn't uh, know I was muting you, you. Why are you scared? Why, why do you keep uh, Why do you keep muting me? I don't. Understand I did not why. mute you at all, my friend. I did not even touch uh, the, the. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. Listen, listen. Ah. It's okay, no listen, one listen. is muting you, you liar. Okay, Every okay, time listen. You interrupt, Christian Prince. I'm gonna mute you. Okay. Uh, okay. No, no, okay, no, okay, no, 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 don't, don't mute him. Don't mute him. Don't mute him. Can you don't mute him, Lisa? Please, listen. Can you give me one person who is not a Muslim? He say the rule what you said about the Quran is true. Uh, I mean the the Arabic language is based on istiqra, so we do istiqra. No, no you see, here we go. Okay, uh, uh, you keep saying to me based on istiqra, based on istiqra, based on nothing. It's based on the uh, the Quran. <laughs> what? Yes, what yes. You, you, you Muslims, of... you Muslims, you are fabricating your own base to fix no, the Quran. No, no, that's how like the guy, the guy who called me before you. Listen, the guy who called me, the guy who called me, just to show everybody, the guy who called me before you. He says that that Quran said the sun appeared to him. See, the Muslim, they add no, words. No, 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 we say wajadaha, it means he actually found the sun setting in the muddy spring. Whoever says otherwise is a liar. Okay, so you agree the Quran is a mistake there? Oh, what do you mean mistake? He found the sun setting in muddy water. Yeah, we affirm this, alhamdulillah, what's wrong? So you agree that the sun really go in a spring of water every day? Uh, yes, it's it's ghaybiyat, we cannot really say that What do you mean ghaybiyat? Is... We know where the sun goes every day. No, I mean, in this case, it's something that's ghaib. We can't really affirm, what do you mean, like, we can't can you, really not affirm friend, not everybody that the speak, sun doesn't step Not everybody speak spring. Arabic, not everybody speak Arabic. Can you tell me what ghaib mean? Yeah, something that's unseen, unknown, something that we can't really... Just to show you, my friend, you know, I'm not, I'm, like, I'm, example, I'm not, I'm not insulting you. Just to show you how silly what you say. You said unseen, but the Quran says he, he, he found it, what means he saw it. How yeah, it is unseen? unseen from <clears throat> our perspective, unseen from what our do you mean perspective. Our, I'm losing my voice. How what do you mean not from our perspective? The guy he saw yeah, it from our perspective. My we friend, don't see. I mean, we don't see that the sun sets in a muddy spring, of course. But we cannot say that the Quran is wrong because we would be saying that Allah is wrong. And that would thank be that, you. Hold that on. Allah don't talk. Don't talk, guys. Did you see? He just said we cannot say the Quran is wrong. We cannot say even if the sun set in Mercury. And this is issue the same with the Arabic grammar. We cannot say that the Quran no, no, is no, wrong. No, 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 hold on. on that hold, let me finish. So, guys. We cannot the say the Quran is wrong, wrong, even if the sun set in murky water. We cannot. And the same for the Arabic grammar. So he bring me a Muslim. The Muslim, he say Christian prince is wrong. This is not how it is. So what they try to do, they try to adjust the language to make it fit with the Quran. And now they are trying to adjust the, sh the sun. How the sun no, set no, in murky no, no. water? The, yes. On the grammar one, on the grammar one, you're very much wrong. My friend, you just say it. You just say You just say it. Everybody heard you. We cannot say the Quran is wrong because that will make Allah wrong. Listen, the grammar rules, the grammar rules, they do not have anything with what the Quran says because the istiqra is also okay, based let me on ask the you, poetry. When, when, the, when, the, when the grammar rules you are talking about, when the, when the grammar rules you are talking about is it created, is before Islam or after Islam? The grammar rules? Uh-huh. The grammar rules, they have always existed with Arabic, but the rules were set and written in the books by the likes of Sibawai. Exactly. Of course, after the Quran. Is it but written? Is it written? Is it written? Is it in this rule you are Hold talking on, let about? Me, let me finish. Let me finish. Because uh -huh. Sibawai, he didn't rely only on the Quran. He relied on poetry from the pre-Islamic period and literature also from the pre-Islamic period. He didn't just rely only on so the Quran. So Sibawai, he did not, he did not. Do you, do you know the guy, uh, what his name, the Egyptian, uh, uh, Arabic scholar, I forgot the, the blind man. Do you know what his name? Egyptian? I don't know any Egyptian. He, he said, Give me a pen and I will write Quran better than this. But I want to show you something from the Quran right now. And I will show you the proof that the Quran is full of mistakes and including Arabic. Read with me this verse. What verse? Do you see my screen? <clears throat> I don't think I can see your screen. Okay. In the Quran, it says in chapter two, verse number one o six. Can you read it for me? You can translate your own okay, translation. Surat, okay, Surat Al-Baqarah one through six. Uh huh. 
Okay, hold on. Let me let me pull up my laptop real quick. All right. You can open it in your phone. Yeah, hold on. I just want to read it through my laptop so that way it's easier. All right. Okay, so Alif Lam Mim, the Likal Kitabu La Rai Bafi, who the Lin Mutakin. Chapter 2, verse 106. Chapter 2, verse 106. 106. Uh huh. I, I thought you said 1 through 6. No, okay, no. hold on one sec. Okay, man and Sahmin Ayatin, our non see her. Neti be heading in her, our Mithalaha. First of all, your Arabic is very, very, very bad. Let me teach you. I never heard of Why? somebody claim he speak Arabic. It's recorded. You can listen to yourself. What, what mistake did I make? Listen, what listen, listen. You, it is, it's recorded. Yes. That's what I meant. I don't know what did I say? No, it's recorded. You listen to yourself after we finish. Yeah, I said man and Okay, So you see, you're teaching me Arabic, but you just made a mistake in grammar. But anyway, yeah, that's, that it doesn't make any difference in the It makes a difference. It makes a difference. You see, you are the one saying, you are the one who called me to correct my grammar, and you don't know even how to read it correctly. No, no, no. Now read for me, my friend. My friend, it make a big difference because Most we know that Dhamma and Kasra, they, they make a difference. Now read for me. No, what we, kind? Okay, read, 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 read the verse. Yeah, so let that, let well. everybody laugh. What kind of God? He will make Quran better than the Quran. Read for us. Go ahead. Okay, okay, listen. Can you tell me the difference between Mithliha? Read and the verse, please. Read the verse. I'm sorry, what did you say? Read the verse. Okay, man and Sahmin Ayatin. I want to see her and Ati Bifarin Minha. Oh, Mithliha, and I'm Shalom and Allah, and I could leave in Kadir. Go ahead. What's wrong with this verse? Did you just see Allah? He will delete verses because he is going to write a better verses? Yeah, what kind of God is, okay, are you saying to me that your God, when he wrote the Quran first time, after reading it, he said, uh oh, what the heck is this? Let me write better one. I, I thought there is no Quran better than the Quran. It turned to be this Quran better than the Quran. So Allah, no, 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 no. if Allah, is a, perfect, is, if Allah is a perfect God, then why he want to delete a verse so he can write something better than the previous verse? And not oh, only okay, is deleting it, look. Okay. No, listen, he says, or similar. Have you ever heard of a God? He say, okay, I'm a God now. I will say, build five rooms in five houses and plant five trees. And then I say, okay, I will delete down? this verse. I will delete this verse. I will make similar one. Build five rooms in five houses and plant okay. five trees. Can you let me respond? Okay. Let me respond? Uh -huh. okay. Okay. First of all, there is no difference between Mithliha and Mithliha. Both of the readings are correct. Ah. And there are actual other readers who read it as Mithliha. There is no mm -hmm. issue with this at all. So you're just grasping at but you did read, okay. on this. Uh, I will go with okay, you. I will go with the propaganda. But you did read it wrong, correct? No, I, I did not read it wrong because there is no difference between Mithliha and Mithliha. You did, you did, is, because you have to read it as the Quran. You just say it now, I can read it differently. So so why Allah don't read it differently too? I mean, is, if you can, it's anyone meaning, can read it differently. It's, it's the exact same meaning, there is no difference. This is like... Okay, okay, now read, like, okay explain to us the verse about Allah will fix his Quran. Go ahead. Okay, guys, this this CP's argument is basically if you read a word in a Scottish accent versus an American accent. No, this is not about Scottish. There is there is the shkiel. There is there is the shkiel. Okay, you, no are, you are de you are deceiving no people. This is not accent. This is the shkiel. This is the shkiel. There is there is valves in the top and underneath of the word. You have to read exactly. This is why the shkiel is exist. So don't tell me accent. What accent? This is not accent. Now read for me the verse, please. What kind of God he says such a thing? Don't mute him, guys. Who muted him? Are you there? He's not muted. He's trying to find an excuse to leave. He left? No, he's still here. He's just not talking. Is, 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 is he the guy? His name is Sigma? Hello? Yeah. 
Maybe okay. get... Sigma, go ahead. Read for us the verse, please. Uh, oh, okay, okay. For, first of all, you still haven't responded to me. Uh, we still haven't responded. What's the difference between mitliha or mitla? But anyway, you're just trying to grasp at straws and do um, red herrings, but that's fine. Oh, red herring. No, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna read the verse again, but no problem. Mm -hmm. So we say, "Man and sahmin ayatin aw nunsiha nati bichayin minha aw mitliha alam ta'alam an Allah ala kulli shayin qadir." So here it says that a verse is better than the other. This is because we have verses which are more suitable for a certain point in time compared to other verses, which is why we have verses being abrogated by other verses. We don't say that one verse is more is better than the other verse in the sense that it's more eloquent or that its contents are just objectively better. No, they're only better in the context of a certain time. They're suitable for a certain time and that makes them better than the other in relation to the time that they were revealed and not that they one is more eloquent than the other are you there done? you go are you done okay yes, i'm done is it true that this is about a verse muhammad he gave in afternoon and then he abrogated the verse in the morning i'm sorry can you repeat uh, your question again is this verse is about a verse muhammad he gave afternoon and then he abrogated the verse second day yeah, but what's the issue? I literally just said that some okay, verses you are just better, said better than the other. You just said, guys, he just said, this is not about, uh, this is bad and this is good. Yeah, yeah, This exactly. is about, okay, but he just went to sleep. He woke up in the in morning, relation, second day. Yeah, second day, there's time. a new verse, abrogating the previous verse. Okay, do Allah knew the future. Why Allah, he gave you a verse is not valid. Even for, yeah, uh, okay, even for eight hours, for eight hours only is not good. So the Arab, they start making no, no, fun. No, 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 no. Listen, you listen. can't say that God does not know the future. That this, okay, okay, when you say, Listen. God does not know the future. Okay, this is, uh, uh, this listen, supposes, listen, uh, listen, listen, listen. This supposes it, that there is a concept of future it, for isn't God. It the Arab, that isn't it the Arab they were questioning what kind of a prophet? His God, he gave me a, ver a verse at night. He woke up in the morning, he gave him an abrogation, he canceled it? Yeah, this is still a verse being better than the other in relation of time. What's but, the issue? You see, oh, okay, exactly in relation time. to time, it's just eight hours. Yeah, so it's still time. What How happened, does it in, eight, eight wait, what happened in eight hours? Bro, my argument still stands. No, no, no. Allah, and Allah he says it better. He did not say relative. He did not say better argument. He did not say. He says we will make better <laughs> or totally look. Better and not only that, he time. said, do you see the word similar? Yeah, I didn't say that they're similar. Where did I say that they're similar? One is better than the other in relation of time. And so obviously if, each if the verse is, if the verse is another, similar, no verse is if the similar verse is similar, so why I'm deleted the first one? No, I did not say they're similar. You're not listening to what I said. I did not say they're similar. It's not you. The Quran says so. Oh, uh, uh, where does it say that verses, all verses are similar? Please show No, me. I did not say all verses. It says Allah will make better or similar. So he will make similar. So why you want to delete the first one? If the first one is, is going to be similar, the second one, there's no different. <laughs> hold on, hold on. No, it says, first of all, for, hold on, hold on. First of all, I already told you that verses are better than the, uh, better than one another um, uh -huh. in relation of time. True, and when true. we say something is similar, uh -huh. okay, when we say that that a verse is similar to the other, there is no issue with this either. So why, why you are abrogating the verse? Similar. Okay, is, if they are similar, why you abrogate the verse? W no, they are not being abrogated. No, it says that. Whatever verse we abrogated or caused to be forgotten, we bring we bring a better or similar. He bring to replace. Yeah, so don't so, tell me it doesn't yeah, say so, that. Yeah so, yeah. so basically, you have a verse that's taken out and replaced by something that's similar. No problem here. So what? So what happened? What changed? If I say shish kebab and shish kebab, and then I make a verse, I say forget about yeah, shish kebab. What, yeah, don't say. And then yeah, I say. This is a loaded question. And, and then and then I say forget about shish kebab and shish kebab. Say this shish kebab and shish kebab. So what the different? Yeah, I don't see any issue with this. What's the logical contradiction in this? You just say to me he will make a verse relatively better. But here there's no point. Yes, yeah, it's similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So some verses, some verses are, are better than the other in relation of the time they were revealed. But it's the same thing. And then you have the guy he go to sleep, yeah, no he woke up in the morning. I will tell you what happened. You see, minutes. do you see the word forgetting? Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's five You're minutes. You're a prophet, really he forget the Quran. That's the whole story. Yeah, People his, make fun of him. He was caused He was caused to forget by God. He Thank you. Guys, did you hear it? Allah, he made Muhammad forget the Quran. Why? 
Yeah, because that's uh, hikmah from God. This is wisdom. Yes. But the Muslim, I thought the Muslim, they say we recite the Quran by heart. So Muhammad, he forgot the Quran. What about the Muslims? Yeah, so the Quran that was relayed over to us is the complete one that was already abrogated. Everything that needed to be abrogated was already abrogated. So, the, so, Allah, he caused the Muslim, so Allah, he caused the Muslim to all of them forget the same verses. No, 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 not all of them. Not all of them. Only so what, the Prophet. He was caused no, to forget verses no, that needed to no, be forgotten. No, it says here, we'll give you better. Because if you still have it, there's no need to give you better or similar. If you don't have it no more, huh? it's, it's gone. But how does that logically follow? Listen, how does that it says follow? in any verse we abrogate or cause to forgot, we bring better uh -huh. or similar. So now yeah, if you have issue? it, if you have it, why he want to give you the same verse again? Similar, similar. Yeah, he's not giving it to us. He's giving it to the prophet. This is, um, this speaks about who the prophet. Who care? The prophet, he give it to him. Who, who care? But Allah, he caused you to forget the verse. And then yeah, he will he bring you, the and then, the no, no, because if he calls the prophet only, there is no need to bring similar, you Muslim still remember it. Okay, give me the verse of a breastfeeding for adult. The breastfeeding of adults, it, it was abrogated. Give me the verse. Yeah, it was abrogated. Give me the verse. What do you mean, give me the verse? It doesn't you exist. You are telling me abrogated. Okay, hold on. There, guys, it's abrogated. There is no verse in the Quran that says that this yeah, is there abrogated. Are two types verse. Of abrogations. There are two types of abrogations. There's abrogations of the ruling and the abrogation of the textual. You see, verse, when like you the say there's text. abrogation here and there, you have to give me a statement where it says this verse is abrogated. Can you show me? Allah yeah, so gave, we have hadith. So we have hadith that say that this verse was abrogated, of course. Abrogated by five, the hadith says. Uh, what did you say? Abrogated by five. What do you mean abrogated by five? By five breastfeeding. By, by five breastfeeds. Okay, I don't I don't really see an issue. But Both we don't, of them but we don't so have we five have... breastfeeding. So now we have five. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One of them was abrogated in the ruling, and then we had both of them abrogated in the textual, like Look the at this. Text. Everything is abrogated in this religion. So Allah caused the Muslim <laughs> to forget. The so now are you saying to me, Allah caused you to forget the verses about the breastfeeding for adult, which is the reason for me to become a Muslim? Because uh, I love, I, mean, I love a breastfeeding, adult, you know, uh, feeding for adult. What kind? What do you mean? What do you mean by Allah? He caused you to forget the breastfeeding for adult. Where do you get this from? He caught, first of all, he caused the prophet to forget, not me. Second of all, secondly, no, text, he caused you to okay, so, otherwise recite the verse for me. He caused you to to recite or forget the verse. Give me the verse. No, no, he didn't cause me to forget. He didn't cause. Then me give me to the forget. verse. Then give me the verse. Read this for me. Yeah, you want me to read you the verse again? About the breastfeeding for adult. Yeah, I told you that was abrogated. You see, you keep saying to me, he make it the prophet, forget it, not me. That means you know it. Okay, tell me the verse. What is the verse of a breastfeeding for adult? Yeah, it was abrogated. The text you keep was saying abrogated. the same thing. I'm saying to you, okay, it's abrogated, but you said you did not forget it. Allah, he caused Muhammad to forget it. So now you know that you did yeah, not forget it. Yeah, so he now caused, he caused. Listen, when 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 God causes the prophet to forget a verse, it's not relayed over to us. If it's abrogated, then it's not relayed over to us. The what only thing mean? that's relayed over to us is the narration. What do you mean? Aisha, she knew the about it. The Muslim, knew ab no, the listen, listen, the Muslim, all of them, they knew the verse. Aisha, she used to command her sisters to do breastfeeding for anyone who want to enter upon her. So this is the verse very well known between Muslims, and they practice it. And the, yeah, and the, so the ruling, yeah, adult uh, adult breastfeeding still exists within our religion, but that doesn't mean that it has to be in our book. It, what is the verse? What, what do you mean? Doesn't have to? As it, so, is it the Quran says nobody can change the word of Allah? No, it was Allah Himself who changed the word of Allah, not someone. Show else me the evidence the that Allah He chose this verse to be changed. Yeah, so it's mentioned in narrations. Where? No, what narration? Even your prophet, he never said that because Muhammad died, and the Muslims still practicing this. Yeah, we all, we don't only take from the prophet. We also take. Listen, from the no, prophet. give me where it says this verse is abrogated. This is false because there is no verse of abrogation and there is no hadith about this is abrogated. The prophet never says so. You are making things up. It challenge in the front of everybody. Can you show me the hadith? It says that the prophet he abrogated this verse and he said the following. Why you're trying to force us into having the prophet specifically say that it was abrogated? Because huh, so who is the one who abrogated religion? You Muslims. No, we also take the rulings from the companions. Exactly. So you must have this guys. Did you, did you see what he said? He, they take the ruling of religion from the companions. So the prophet never said so. Because the uh, companions. Not necessarily. 
the companion in order to make a ruling they should say what the prophet said it's not up to you if Allah sent the verse this is a command from God who is the companion you Muslim you follow Muhammad or the companion of Muhammad yeah but also take from the companions because he said to take from the thank companions. you very much so guys did you, did, you, did you hear they took all of them the companion so Muhammad is not the source no more Allah is not the source no more but look what the Quran says the Quran says that the Christian and the Jews they took their monks and their rabbi as God. If you read the interpretation for this, you will see because they are following the command of the men, not God. So you Muslims are kuffar according to chapter 9, verse number 31. The Christian and the Jews, read it carefully. They took their rabbis and their monks yeah, as what God. Does, what does that prove exactly? What does prove, that prove, exactly? prove the following, that the one who took the companion, the monks, the rabbi, as gods yeah, they were, instead. Okay, were the rabbis were the rabbis given authority by um, freaking Moses or Jesus to be to have rulings taken from them? We do no, not. We do not. We do not take. Us. We do not take ruling from them. We take ruling from God. But now it's you who said. Everybody heard you. You abrogated yeah, yeah, the course, Quran. Listen, it is you who said you abrogated the Quran by a statement of a companion, not of Muhammad, yeah, we, neither there Allah. No, there is no there is no issue with such thing. We can take the no, you just, ruling. From no, you just say it. You just say that. Everybody heard you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just said that there is no so what issue. Do you mean no issue? So, you take, so you take your religion from a, from a rabbi? No, it's not a rabbi. It's okay. Muhammad's Allah, companion. And he what, do gave mean, him what do you mean no rabbi? If, he, if Allah, he said, you do breastfeeding for adult. Mm -hmm. And you said to me, this is still valid. And then you said to me, this verse is abrogated by five times. Can you show me? Because in order to be abrogated by five time, then we should have a verse of five time breastfeeding for adult. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Please so, show so, me how. So this, how that, you know how about that? It? So how, where do you get this from? Where do you get this from? Okay. How the, tell com me how how the, compa how the companion they come to the conclusion that this is abrogated no, by five time breastfeeding? You if made, you don't have a verse, you made the claim. You made the claim. You made the claim. Do you have, you told do you me have a verse? Do you have a verse of five time breastfeeding adult abrogating uh, okay, the previous you verse? Made, you made the claim. You made the claim. You made the claim that just because it was abrogated, this means that the actual text has to be in the Quran itself and not just in the narrative. Or so, have okay, so now the, the Muslims, so, so now, me, so the, me, I, I did not make a claim, I did not make a claim, it's you who said so, you yes, said, you, did, you, did. you said, you said, I took the, com the companion said, but the companion for them, are they prophet of God, or they are people who they are just, they were, the companians were given authority to give rulings from the prophet himself, the so companion I don't see of Muhammad, here. they never been given authority, and you are lying, can you show me the authority no, of the no, companion? No, 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 no. Can you show no, me the they, authority? They who is the one who gave him the... Actually, the companion of Muhammad are a bunch of thieves and they accuse your prophet that he stole another wear. How those people, what? they can... Yeah. How those people, they can be the one who yeah, can make a provision. He stole an underwear where they accuse him that he stole Isn't it your underwear? prophet? Isn't it your prophet was accused by the companions, not the, not the, not the enemy, not the kuffar in chapter 3, verse 1, 161 that they accused Muhammad that he took a piece of a clothing, red piece of a clothing. Okay, let me read the verse, hold on. Mm. So those okay, are the companion, they can change religion and they can change ruling. It's not okay. Allah, it's not hold Muhammad, on. it's the companion. And those are the same one, they are fighting with their prophet about a piece okay, of a clothing. CP, 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 here is, here is, here is, uh, let's go over the claims that you made that weren't substantiated. You made the claim that there is a difference between Mithliha and Mithliha. No, hey, so see, he go back to zero now, he go back, he's stuck yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, because yeah. He, well, he's going, trying, gonna, he's gonna, trying gonna, to save his, he's trying, he's here. trying to save his embarrassment, the, 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 the no, prophet. No, no, I'm gonna, listen, no problem, no, 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 you are going back zero, we jump over that, Century ago, and now let's see CP go to go, go to Mr. Go to Mr. Okay, trying to see himself. You do you need water? Do you need water? Do you, do you need the fire distinguish? I will give it to you now. Read this verse for me. Read the verse for me, accusing your prophet of stealing a panty. Your prophet accused by the companion, the one you say they can change rules. You are not following God. Everybody heard you. Muslim don't follow God. They follow companion of a companion okay, of a companion. Second. They don't know what Muhammad said. Now read. The second, prophet second. he stole a laundry of a Jew. Okay, okay. We're gonna we're or, gonna read the or, first bit. Or a kafir, the kuffar of Quraysh. 
can you can you just let me talk for a second? Okay, second claim that you made is that just because we have the verse being abrogated, this means that the text will verse. The verse just you actually, said to me, the, the, okay, we, we spoke about this. Don't, don't repeat dedicated. yourself. Don't, there's no point to repeat yourself. Everybody heard you. Okay, so you, don't you, want me to call you everybody answer. heard you. You don't have any reference from your prophet. You don't have a single reference okay, from your prophet. Okay, you don't have a single reference from Quran. So you have zero. So Muslims are fabricating okay, things. No not to forget to mention. Not to forget to mention that what kind of God he commanded the women to give her breast to a stranger. Okay, so, I mean, this is so a long as a story. Without <laughs> substantiating them, correct? You're just going to keep making claims without providing proof for them. Correct? I am the one who made the claim without proof. It's you who made the claim without proof. I asked you. Okay, you said Allah will give you similar. So I and you said Allah did not cause us to forget the Quran. I said okay, recite yeah, for me. I said okay, he, he caused the prophet, but the prophet he told yes. those verses to every Muslim. I said to you, recite for how, me. How, what? He told the he verses. Told the yes. Verses to, to the angel who then told the prophet. He did not tell it to every individual. Isn't it, Aisha, isn't it Aisha? She said that when the prophet died, the verses of stoning to death and breastfeeding for adult was under the bed of the prophet. And then a time sheep, a goat, came and ate it. So yeah, are you, but it, they were already abrogated, so it doesn't matter. What do you mean it's abrogated? No, it's not. And this Muhammad yes, is dead. The, the verse is abrogated after the Muhammad verse, is dead. Listen, was, listen, listen. Guys, look, look at this. Look at this. The verse, the verse is still in the Quran. The goat ate it. You said to me it's abrogated by recitation. It's not no more. And you cannot even recite it. Yes, the and you said, and you said everybody heard you. You said lying to me. You said Allah, he caused Muhammad to forget it. Not us. But now, as you see, this is the Quran of Muhammad. Read, read the hadith. Read the hadith. The verse of stoning and breastfeeding for adult, the ten time was revealed, and the paper was with me under my pillow. When the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death, and a time sheep came and ate it. So let me tell you what happened, my friend. It is not Allah who caused you to forget the Quran. It is the goat who ate every single Muslim memory. <laughs> the problem here is that the, the verse of stoning was already abrogated through recitation. So, so why is in the Quran? The so why it is in the Quran of Muhammad? This is Muhammad himself. This is the house of Muhammad. Muhammad is dead now. It was already abrogated through recitation. It prove doesn't it, matter. If it. It no, 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 no. It's not abrogated okay. because it's there. If it's so abrogated, it so are you okay? Are you saying to me that Muhammad he kept a verse in the Quran and you do not need to read it? So when you arrive there, you skip it. You jump like boing, boing, boing. So it's there in no, the Quran. It's already to recite it here here's the false equivalence that listen, you're, listen. you're saying you are saying it was still you are saying it oh is abrogated God, abrogated by recitation but what that's mean when you start reading the quran the second listen, you listen, arrive you the, the second you arrive the second you arrive to breastfeeding for adult you have to jump it because you are not allowed to recite it no more this is what you said to me abrogated okay, by recitation okay can you let me speak can you let me speak now? go ahead Okay, here's the false equivalence that you're making. You're saying that because it was re, um, abrogated through recitation, this means that it should have been removed up to the point of when the goat ate it. It should not be in any parchment or any paper. Now, you need to prove to me this equivalence, that just because it was abrogated through recitation, this means that it should have been, that the paper containing the verse should have been shredded or burned. Now, prove to me this equivalence, and then you can make this. Clear. Look, 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 guys, what he's asking me. He's asking me to prove to him what he should prove to me. You need to prove what? to me. You're, you you need, need to prove. I have a proof. I have a proof from your books that the verse is still the verse is still in the book. The verse is still in your your prophet book, not even Aisha book. This is Muhammad book. So the verse is just still there. Muhammad never mentioned the word uh, hold on, hold on. Let me let me drink some water here. Let me drink some water. I uh, drink. Okay. Camel urine is better. It's more healthy. Be careful it have to be hot and fresh okay are you are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna prove to me the equivalence what equivalent, the equivalent what listen look what this guy is talking about he's trying to change the topic listen the verse the, the verse the verse okay was the verse in the in the book of muhammad when he died yes or no yes but that doesn't mean that it was not abrogated so That's how you are problem. saying to me <laughs> abrogated by recitation so why he wrote it down it was already abrogated through recitation. Then give me, give me where Muhammad when, he said, okay, it's already abrogated oh, before Muhammad be, died or after Muhammad died. It was abrogated before the Prophet Thank died. you. Then show me where Muhammad said this verse has abrogated. 
Why does it have to be specifically the Prophet? So how you know it's abrogated? Because we also, if a companion says that it has been abrogated, then we what say that it's What do you mean the companion say it? The companion are not the Prophet. And who is the companion who said this verse is abrogated? Who is he? Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to bring you the, the proof that it was actually abrogated. Uh -huh. I have it in the screen in front of me. It says these yeah, verses no were abrogated in recitation, but not in ruling. Other hadith. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, but this exactly. is a commentary. This is a commentary. This is not a hadith. Okay, one second. I'm going to bring you the proof. Mm -hmm. I like your God, by the way. I mean, breastfeeding is the best thing ever for adult. I mean, God said it's allowed, so I'm not sure what's your. So, argument. so do you like if you? I'm not going. I'm not. I'm trying to insult you. So, if your neighbor, he, you know, you see your neighbor looking at your wife, then are you going to say to him, "Hey, guy, come on, do breastfeeding with my wife, so you can come over"? What kind of religion this religion is? Yeah, God. God told us that that's allowed. So. So how come Muslim women they wear hijab, but they don't have a problem to give their boobs to a stranger? How this is allowed? Yeah, that's yeah, that's allowed. Because for example, for example, wearing silk is not allowed. But if someone has a skin disease, they can wear what have, silk. What does have to do with wearing silk? silk? I'm talking about my neighbor sucking yes. my wife's boobs, man. I'm talking about yeah, yeah, my I'm wife. You an analogy. I'm talking I'm about you my an wife. What this is what analogy? I'm talking about a woman. She is your wife, it's a, it's and and you come home. You come home. You said Muhammad once he came home he found Aisha and she have a guy in her house sleeping over. He said to her, "Who is this guy?" He was so upset. It's a concession. It's a concession, not a contradiction. So, because we have the benefit that the person coming over who is a non-mahram is going to be able to stay there without the wife having to cover up, and then we allow such thing to happen. That's so a concession. I, so, it's if, not a so, if, if, so, if your friend come to your house. And you want him to stay with your wife, you command your wife to give her breast to him, to suckle him 10 different times in 10 different occasions until he's satisfied. And this is okay for Islam? I mean, God allowed us to what have kind such of, things. What's wrong with your God? I thought you Muslims women have to be covered, but now the women she have to give. And don't you think that the man, when he starts sucking your wife's boobs, he will go so hot and horny? Do you think this is right? I, I mean, he's... Listen, God allowed us to do such things so I don't see the problem with okay, my friend with God allow you to do that but that is wrong because the man will get horny I mean your wife she is a beautiful the guy is a man he is a stranger he sit in your wife lap he starts sucking her nipples and in order to suck her nipples he have to see them he have to grab them and you are saying to me God allowed us what kind of religion this religion is what for yeah, Alhamdulillah, God has allowed us. How, how, how you are saying thanks to Allah, so now your neighbor is sucking your wife's boobs, and you say to Allah, thank you? The, the, the neighbor will say that, not you. The neighbor will never allow you to suck his wife's boobs, but the neighbor will say, thank you, Allah, for this rule. I'm going to visit every Muslim from tomorrow. Well, what's wrong with this? How does this prove the Why you are laughing? Respect your religion, my friend. Respect your religion, please. Don't make fun. Why <laughs> no, you are laughing, please? You are hurting my feeling now. Listen, I am hungry. So what is this? What kind of... By the way, according to, according to your religion, if a man, he suck your wife's boobs, still he can have sex with her. Okay, let, let me ask you. If a man, he suck your wife's boobs, is she forbidden for him now? Yeah, if he if he suckles from from her boobs, of course. False. Yes, of course, because that's the ruling. You want to you want you want to challenge me? Challenge you about what exactly? Well, he will not become forbidden for her. No, he becomes forbidden for her. No, just like it, how. No, it, yes, it, you no. know. Okay. Well, here we go. I will go to the Muslim website, the, the highest scars of Islam, and we will see the rule the ruling. If, uh, if yeah, he, if he if he suckles if he suckles to the point where he like enough suckles, then yes, he becomes forbidden for her. No, that's not true. But why still not? He, okay, prove still it. he can marry her. Okay, here we go. Hold on. <clears throat> then you speak Arabic, so you have no excuse. Okay, go ahead. All right. I should make you an admin here. Uh, I would like to apply for that. 
All right. I will put it for you in the in the text. You can open the link from your side. Uh, this is the fatwa. I will put it in the in the in the chat. I will show it in Ramble at the same time. And I will use Google Translation. But for you, you do not need Google Translation. You speak Arabic. Question. Yeah, I don't need the translation. Okay, question. Do breastfeeding for adult or bed? The answer, no. I'm sorry. So you're saying that the that the uh, breastfeeding for adults, right? Yeah, it makes uh, it makes one a mahram. No, so if does you not. It does not. It's in front of you. Breast. Look at the title. This is the title. Breast feeding adult. Huh? Do you guys see anything? I, 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 I just posted the link for you in the chat. I posted the link. Okay, hold on. Give me one sec. Yeah, and I use Google Translation for those who do not know Arabic. You can open it in Google browser, and you can translate in your Google. The title of the fatwa. This is an this is an Islamic fatwa, and this is the fatwa number in front of you. Breastfeeding an adult is not will not forbid, which not will make will not make you mahram. So you are fooling yourself again. But there's no point of this. So now your wife, she gave her boobs to the neighbor. Still, he can sleep with her. He can marry her. So what you did, actually, you, inv you invited the bear to your house. Yeah, okay. Let's say that it doesn't actually... So what the point? So what the point? You said to me, you said to me, Allah allowed it. What yeah, the it point? It allows him to enter the house without her having to cover up. But... She is okay, but he is allowed to have sex with her now, so she is not covered up. Yeah, but he's allowed to enter her house without her having to cover up. Exactly, but now that will make it more horrible because now she is not covered, and he is allowed to enter the house anytime, even if the husband is not there. And now you are thinking that this is okay. Uh, no problem. No problem. How does this disprove um, uh, my religion? Well, this will prove that this is a, this is a, this. I don't want to. I don't want to be rude to you, but this is a pervert action because who is the man who accept his wife to how give her? How, how, how does, who how is the man? The who is the my friend? Who is the man? I, I'm not going to tell you what I will do if I see my man having her boobs in somebody else's mouth. But what kind of a man? He encourage his wife. If you go inside the house, he found his wife hugging somebody in her lap. He is sitting there. What he is doing in your lap? Oh, honey, I'm doing breastfeeding for adult. And you are saying to me, what's wrong with that? If there's no benefit, it, it, yeah, it, I just showed you, I just showed you, I just showed you that this is will not forbid the man from having sex with your wife. So what was the point? Yeah, how does this disprove Islam, to be honest? I, I just because Islam is teaching fornication. Because there is, yeah, this, so is, because this is a form of fornication. You are you you are doing some... Is form of fornication? It is. Because when the no, man... No, no, okay, you see, you, 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 you Muslim, you Muslim, you, you're a prophet. He says, if a man, the man, he commits sin by his eyes, by his tongue, by his mouth, by his hands, correct? Okay, now his, how, his, his mouth <laughs> is in her nipples. His head is in her chest. And you are telling me how that is a form of fornication? Yeah, I don't see how this even disproves that. Not... What do you mean how that is? A... I just told you, your prophet said, a human being, he do fornication by his eyes, by his hand, by his lips, yeah, but he by his an feet. In this case. He gave an exception in this case. And, so this is what, and this is what deception, what exception? So now your wife, she is giving her boobs to a stranger. Yeah, there is an exception. When when she's given, uh, when when there is adult breastfeeding, then this is an exception and it doesn't count as fornication. So ah, there's no contradiction. This is an exceptional fornication. No, it's not exceptional fornication. It's simply an exceptional case. It doesn't count what as What exceptional fornication. case? Your wife, she is giving her boobs to a stranger now. Yeah, it's not fornication. It's simply an exceptional case. Okay, so, so if you come back home and you and you find a man in the lap of your wife, do she need uh -huh. your permission to do it? She don't, because you just said it's okay. So now you come back home, you find a, a, a neighbor or the driver or the bus driver or anybody, the cable guy, he is sucking your wife a breast. And you cannot talk, you cannot say why, because simply this is an exception, right? 
Your wife, she can practice anytime. Nothing wrong with it. And how does this logically disprove Islam, though? Logically, this is mean Islam is invalid because I thought that Why? Islam is about protecting, protecting the dignity of the women and the man. If my wife is going to give her breast to everybody, so why the women wear burqa? So why you why you yeah, get upset? We, we, why we, you why why you Muslim? Why you Muslim? Okay, so you so you Muslim consider you Muslim consider the hair of the women aura, which means a private part. Is her breast what? is her breast aura? Uh, in the case that of adult breastfeeding, no, it's not. It's not our. How it's not our? So how the hair it's is a, in the case of how, how the hair how the hair is a aura, and yet yeah, cause he, there is an exceptional case here. So he keeps saying it's exceptional. It's this is a breast. Yeah, but it's an exceptional case. That's the problem here. It's not a contradiction. Hmm? It's an exceptional case, okay. so it's not Isn't a it the Quran it says, ala ala You know, cover your breast. The Quran says so. Yeah, but he gives an exception in this case, so it's not contradictory. Okay, guys, there's an exception here. So, the exception is, is that why Muslim they deleted the verse from the Quran? Because it's a shameful thing? What do you mean? It's not shameful. We still, I mean, I still affirm that there's adult. Person okay, in, can you name for me one of your friends he did that? Uh, obviously, it's no longer done today. Why? But it doesn't mean it's existing now. Why, religion. why, why you don't do it today? What's wrong? I don't know. People, I guess, don't want to do it, but it doesn't mean that it's not in our religion. Are course. you open for this option? I mean, if it's if it's allowed by the uh, the Islamic ruler, then I don't see a problem because it's already allowed in our religion. Uh -huh. Well, Islam is wonderful. I don't know. That's that's my friend. This is a this is a very. Uh, I mean, how I can trust now that the man is okay. If a man he is sucking your wife's breast, how you can guarantee he will not get horny? Don't you think that? Don't you know? I mean, you are a man, right? Yeah, but he, the problem here is the Prophet has instructed us to do such things or allowed us to do such things. So, so if it's issue. okay, it's okay if the man is sucking your wife and his private parts start like you know. Being boy, you know, uh, the, the the prophet allowed such things, so I don't see the issue. Here. So the prophet oh, allowed it, 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 your neighbor to suck your wife boobs and his private part, like boing, being born, you know, like all over the place, and he might even have orgasm. Me a logical, a logical argument against Islam. You're just giving me an because you have argument. an orgasm now. He will have orgasm. The guy is sucking your wife. He's holding her breast, sucking it. And he will have an orgasm if he did not do it for real. I mean, who, how he would stop even there? He have her naked now. Her 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 breast is exposed, and now her mouth, his mouth in her over nipples. His hand is touching them, and you are saying to me, the prophet, he allowed us with the problem. He will get so horny. He will he will sleep with her. She will get horny too. How that help? Absolutely. How that help your wife and you as a Muslim? You keep saying to me how this is make Islam invalid. Yeah, it doesn't make Islam invalid, as in you didn't give me a logical contradiction or a logical. Uh, the logical is outcome. this is a fornication. Your wife and your neighbor, no, they are no, they are having sex. They have this is a, this is sexual. This is sexual. No, no, no. It's not yes, he it's is not, not a baby. Is he? Is he an infant? No, he is a growing man. So a, a, grow, a, a growing man, a growing man, he do suck the nipples and the breast of a, a, a growing woman. For sure he will get a horny. There's no way he will not. Yeah, so for it to be a contradiction is if you bring me like this, the exact same ruling being allowed and forbidden at the same time. But here we have an exception, so it doesn't count as. You see, I just showed you a verse in the Quran. It says, "Cover your cover, cover your chest," and you are saying to me, "Show me yeah, that." Yeah, not in this case. Okay. It's an exception. Uh, uh, you see, this, this, is, this is a contradiction. The Quran says, no, "If this is a book, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it contradiction." And this contradiction, because it, no, there's, this is not a there's a verse, not a there's a verse says, "Cover your breast," and there's a verse now says, "Give your breast to others." What a contradiction is. Let me teach you what a contradiction is. A contradiction uh, is a proposition and its negation being true at the same time in the same respect now when we talk about adult breastfeeding here we don't have in the same respect because we're talking about an exceptional case and we're talking about a general rule so when we have toxis we have cases where we give an exception 
to this general rule. It does not mean that we have a contradiction in this case. That's so we deep, only my have friend. a contradiction if there is, hold on, if there is no taxis, yet this is still allowed. But it being allowed automatically means that there is taxis. This is like how we hmm. understand our religion. So you cannot say that well, this is I don't know. Hey guys in the chat, who of you are thinking now seriously to convert to Islam so we can go together? I invite you all of you, I'm going to rent a big, big train, not, not a bus, and we will go to Muslim countries and we will do Hajj for breastfeeding for adult. Remember, it's for free, and you have to suckle their women breast 10 times, and here we have the gentleman, he said, so what the problem? Muslims are very friendly, open-minded, their wives and their boobs are open for every man, no problem. By the way, I don't want to be like a Trump making business of this, but I will charge you ten dollars if you don't mind, because I, you know, I, I'm the one who discovered this guy. I have the right, you know, to make a commercial about it. So listen carefully, commercial break. If you like to do suckling for breastfeeding for adult on beautiful women, they are wearing hijab. Then a brother, sister, sorry, sister, sister, sorry, shut up, sister. What's the star? Crazy me. Sorry, guys, this is a gaffe of Joe Biden. Brothers, brothers, sorry, Allahu Akbar. You are all invited for breastfeeding of tits. And the tits will be there too, because he will be the one giving you tickets. All right? So this is Islam. And this gentleman here, he says, what is the problem? He don't know what the problem what That's is the exactly problem. what the problem? No, no, I don't see. I don't see a logical problem here. You see, I don't see a, 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 a few minutes ago, my friend, you said to me that that will make her she can uncover herself. Correct? Yeah, we have an exceptional. All right, and I showed you. I showed you the proof. You said to me she is forbidden. I said to you, no, she is not forbidden. And now I show you the proof that this is will not make her forbidden. It will not make yeah, her it's forbidden. Exceptional case. It's not a contradiction. It's toxic. But hold on, will not make her forbidden from having sex with her. So what the point? What the, what the point of this exception? No, 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 it does not. No, 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 no. Here is the false equivalence that you're making here. You're saying that just because there is a risk of them having sex together, this means that it is now allowed for them to have sex together. This is no, no, no. I'm not yet, saying that. Yet, I, I did not say that. I'm not saying. I'm not saying it's allowed. I did not say that. Don't, don't, don't. No, no. That's totally what you said. You no, said it's no, not no. Forbidden. I just say. I said to you. I showed you a proof. I showed you proof. In the beginning, you you disagree. You said it's not true. She is now forbidden for him, so he can enter, and she is not covering herself. So now look what happened. Before he do breastfeeding, the woman was covering herself. Uh -huh. Before he do breastfeeding, the man is out of the house. After breastfeeding, now he touch and he play with his boob and he have to do it in 10 different days, in 10 different time until he's satisfied. And now he can enter yeah. the house anytime. And now she is not uncovered, which means she she sit with him as if she's sitting with her husband. She's wearing shorter clothes, exposing her breast. Already he play with her breast. How that will not invite him for sex? Yeah, but it doesn't mean that now the sex is now allowed. That's not what it means. It's it doesn't, it doesn't, there is you, a risk. You, you are creating an environment for sex. You just yeah, but it does, you just brought you just brought the the cable guy. He entered your house. She gave him her breast, and now anytime you enter the house, you find your wife. She there is a guy in her lap sucking her breast. You cannot even question what she is doing because she is allowed. Yeah, so how exactly does this disprove? Uh, uh, all right, religion? my friend. This you know, I can't stay for long. Thank you very much for calling. It's already middle of the night for me. Uh, feel free to call me tomorrow again or the day after if I go. And thank you for joining us. All right? Okay. All right. Uh, we have many people are waiting, you know. Uh, there's one Muslim. I will take him, please, if you don't uh, if you don't mind, please. There's a guy, his name Dawa Solution. So I will take him first, even though he is not really the first one. Oh, we have a, a, a starlight actually. Uh, the one who left Islam is here. All right, star. Uh, hi. Hi. What, what do you think about what this guy he was saying? On on honestly, I I had a question to ask him. Yeah. Be, because, uh, from my point of view, hold on. I'm sorry. Okay. From from my point of view, I feel like, like I feel like. Adultery means like when you have sexual relations with someone of another gender, right? Mm -hmm. So 
that entire time, I was thinking, like, wouldn't that be considered adultery? Because technically speaking, you are having sexual relationships with another gender, mm -hmm. and it's with uh, an inappropriate body part. Exactly. So Crazy. This is, you see, this is the religion you just left today. You left this garbage today. You see how lucky you are? <laughs> imagine, <laughs> imagine if you play this audio of this guy to your mom, you know, you can find it in Rumble, by the way, the video. Imagine you play for her that this guy, he was explaining to the Christian guy how it's okay and it's his exception and a Muslim woman, she can give her breast and he have no problem with it. Imagine your husband, imagine you stay as a Muslim and then your husband, he says, hey, listen, my neighbor is going to come to visit you. Now you have to give me your breast. Just imagine. Lucky you, you are out of Islam, my sister. All right. I will, I will take another uh, caller. He's a Muslim. His name is Dawa. Uh, go ahead, Dawa. Mr. Dawa. Dawa solution. Uh, turn, turn, uh, push the talk off. Just go in your settings and turn it off. Just go straight to voice activity. Should I, should I send the screenshot of how to do that again? Uh, you know, yeah. if, if you want, you can go to Rumble and uh, you can later download the video or share it with your friends. It's going to be at the end of this video because soon I'm leaving. So guys, somebody give her the, the link for Rumble so she later she can uh, uh, subscribe there and she can download the video or she can share the video with her friends. You will find at the end, the last, uh, you know, go to the last uh, hour of the video or the last uh, 40 minutes. Uh, Dawa Solution, are you there? That, he's a potato. He said he'll come tomorrow. He's oh, okay. scared All right. his mind. All right. Yeah. We have uh, Singed, Singed, Signed. Okay. Uh, let us uh, mute him. All right. You are not muted, my friend. Send, go ahead. I'm just, I'm Christian and I'm just. Oh, okay. Well, so you are why well, you are joining? You know, you want to sign for breastfeeding too? Okay. So. <laughs> no, no, of course not. Uh, why not? You know, we want to make money, man. What are you talking about? We just spend ten dollars, ten dollars only. The guy, he just, uh, you know, he said it's okay. No. All right. It's just for Muslims, man. Oh, all right. <laughs> All right, guys, it's getting so late for me. And as you see, my voice is getting tired. I really apologize. Otherwise, I would love to stay with you more. Don't forget to subscribe and join our Discord or Rumble. And let me post the, the, the link for Rumble for everybody. Actually, the admin, they are posting it. And uh, talking about breastfeeding, to be honest with you, make me so angry. I'm so, I'm, I'm single. I mean, that's really, was man. If I, if I came tomorrow and I say to you, Shahada, don't be upset, okay? Because simply I, man, I'm, I'm all over the place. Oh boy, you know? Imagine, imagine, imagine the Messiah. He's, he come to us today. And we say to him, Lord, there's people who they claim that you are a Muslim. And those people, they believe that their wives, they can give their breast to a stranger. But they are very conservative. They wear hijab. Imagine what the Messiah will say to them. What a pervert cult. What a pervert cult. I can describe it with more than this. This is a religion of pervert made by a pervert. And the one who accepts to do such a thing, he must be a pervert. And there is no a man, he have dignity. He will accept such a thing to happen to him or to his house. This is not a behavior of someone he have dignity. This is a behavior of somebody. He's a pimp. I mean, even pimp, they will not accept somebody coming to their women. You have to pay. So, if this is not enough for you to prove that Islam is satanic, demonic cult, what is going to prove it to you? I want to say thank you, Lord, for having the good time with those wonderful people. I want to say thank you, Lord, for having our sister here, Star. She called us today and she decided to leave Islam. I'm so happy to hear from her that she decided to follow you, to believe in you, to choose you as a savior. 
and I am happy Lord to say that I am proud only to be following you I have nothing about myself to be proud about I am NOT the one to be proud about myself for I have nothing absolutely nothing to be proud about except that I call myself a Christian Prince for I am Prince because of you because every one of those Christians is a child of God the King of Kings all of them they are Prince of Princes all of them they are the children of God and we will never follow a pervert who try to fool us using your name he tried to fool us by using the word of the from the Bible he tried to fool us by using the word Moses and Maryam we are smarter than that Lord we pray that more Muslims like a star our sister today they will leave this cult and they will see how filthy it is for you we pray and in you we believe and our trust is in our Lord not in the devil those who believe in the devil they will end with him and there's no question that Muhammad is dead and even the Muslim believe so and there's no question that the Messiah is alive and the Muslim believe so so who is the fool will follow the dead man Muhammad and he will not follow the living Messiah the living Messiah is our Lord how in the world you choose to follow someone else you must be a fool and if a fool like Muhammad can fool you how foolish are you thank you God bless you and I hope to see you soon again God is good so is Jesus I mean